Yep. Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, back with another week of Brilliant Idiotness. Schultz in here capping early. I'm not capping. He in here capping early. What do you mean I'm not capping? Schultz said he could beat any WNBA player alive. Yes. I disagree. I don't even think he could beat some of the college players. First of all, I didn't say what I could beat them at. <laughs> Basketball. No, I said a standing up and pissing contest. <laughs> <laughs> you was just assumed it was basketball. These are semi-professional athletes way, and professional athletes. Woman will bust your ass in a standing up and peeing contest. If she want to pee all over her thighs if and they, fuck up her shoes. But that's the point, right? Think about all the things we got to do, especially if it's a race. Mm. We got to take out, whip out. All they, gotta, if they got to do, especially if they got a skirt on and no pants. What if I got a skirt on too? I'm Scottish. <laughs> what if I dress in my traditional garb? <laughs> what if I dress in my traditional garb? Right? And then we just have a stand up and piss contest. Now, now you got a chance. If you got you, you got go. a new traditional garb, you got a chance on. But if a woman, yeah, wh- summertime, they got a skirt on, no panties. By the time you whip out, they didn't start it. Fair. They have, yeah, but yeah, but also they just make such a mess. Women really can't pee in public well at all. Dude. No, it's bad. It's a fucking no, disaster. No, 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 it's bad. It's bad. Pissing it's in bad. your fucking Timberlands and <laughs> no, shit. No, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Because you gotta like squat. Because you can't just spread your legs and pee. Because you'll just pee all down your legs. Yeah. Why do you think God smited you like that? <laughs> what do you think? It did make it difficult for women yeah. to have to just pee. Like, we can pee anywhere. Yep. Out in nature. Yep. Like after, we easy with it. Pee while you walk. Oh, Damn. No, the walk pee? The walk pee is fire, bro. You ever did the walk pee? No. You fake me on the phone, walk yeah. pee? And just what? aim to the left while he walking? Yeah. I ain't never did that shit. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, Charlie. You ain't live. Now you got to make sure it's not too windy because I didn't walk pee on my own chest. Oh, oh yeah. I walked Pete straight and the wind walk just blew it right back <laughs> on my own chest. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've never been in that much of wind. a rush. Where was y'all in such a rush to that y'all had to it's walk? It's not Pete? about rush, it's about not having people see you in public. And not want to go all the way by the bushes to go do Bruh, it. I guarantee you if you're walking and peeing at the same time, somebody gonna see you. Not at night. that motherfucker walking and nah. peeing. Not at night, bro. Really? And you just fake on the phone. Be like, what? Really? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like, say uh when you get out from the club. Walk and pee. you don't want to wait in that long line. Everybody's going to the bathroom at the end walk of the club. Pee. You just walk pee. But why not just go to the side of a building or something and piss? Because then you look like you're peeing. If you, if you right there, and then if a cop passes by or some shit like that, now you get a So you're walking with your dick out and your phone in your hand, piss everywhere, and you don't look suspicious? You looking at people's dick while you're walking in the street? Yes, if they walk in and pee. <laughs> if they got their dick out, I do. I look at guys' dicks if they have their dick out in the street. <laughs> If a guy has a dick out in the street, there's only one way I know he has his dick out. It's if I look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. That's I'm not looking thing. there. That's a crazy... I've had friends say, yo, that dude's peeing over there. And I and then go, well, why are you looking at his dick? And I ain't looking at his dick. Well, how the fuck you know <laughs> exactly. he's peeing at? He his dick out. Yeah. I ain't looking at nobody's also, dick while you I've never seen walking. a small dick Walk pee in public. Walk pee is crazy. A what? I've never seen a small dick pee in public. There's a size dick, dick that's willing to pee public. publicly. Mm. Really? Yeah, small I never dick dudes about hold it. it, bro. But like them homeless dudes with the big old fucking like. Why do homeless dudes have such big bruh, penises? Bruh. That is a phenomenon that I'm nobody not, discusses. Can I be all of them? Just the ones that are willing no, to show. No, bro. them yeah. ones in New York, homeless bro. dudes. <laughs> bro, I saw a homeless dude's dick once so big. I thought he was filling up a car with gasoline. He was peeing <laughs> by the car. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, Yo, back in the day, there used to be this dude that used to sit outside of the forty forty club. Yeah, but he wouldn't pee; he'd just be jacking off. Ooh, and it was it was the biggest shiniest dick you ever seen in yeah. your life. He saw multiple. You times. thought it was a gun. He was always in always front of the forty there. forty club. Like, yes. if, if you've been in New York long enough. You know who I'm talking about. There's good Jack material going in there. You got to think about it. like he's situating <laughs> himself. Like that's a horrible thing to do. Don't jerk off publicly. But if you are gonna do it, go by a place where beautiful oh women are gonna God. go up and I'm down. I'm talking about like, like two of them shit together, yo. Yep. Shiny. Yup. Big. Yup. And he wasn't. And it was no lube. It probably was just spit. Bro, I saw a spit shine. I saw a fucking spit, yeah, spit shine. Is that's wild, bro. Spit that's shine wild. Your that's crazy. wild. Crazy. That is a wild thing to do, man. Ah. Uh. I saw I saw a homeless guy's dick once it was so big that um I ate dollar pizza for like a week thinking that shit would help my dick. What? I, was, I just saw this guy outside of that, what is it, two bros or whatever yeah, it was? Yeah, yeah, like, two bros. Two bros, doll, and he was just that he, he was eating dollar pizzas and I saw his dick and I was like, 
<laughs> I guess a dollar piece of Schultz for a bit. <laughs> Why man. nobody's ever got them for a porn though? What? Like you get them, you know what I'm saying? Give them a job. That yo, that's what porno companies should be doing. Getting these homeless guys mm. who have these big penises, mm. clean them up, give them some room and board, and pay them just to you know have sex. Mm. They, they got the they got the penises. That's for a good it. way to clean up yes, the streets. Yes, man. Mm. Come on, man. Yeah. All these big dick homeless people out here for no reason. Yeah. America, man. We used to be a country. <laughs> I like how you deflected from the fact that Caitlin Clark will bust your ass, though. I don't know who Caitlin Clark is. Aaliyah Boston will bust your ass, bro. I don't know who Aaliyah Boston is. Aaliyah Boston, center for the uh, University of South Carolina. Caitlin Clark is a guard for Iowa. I think they, they beat play me in a Friday. shooting contest. I think they beat me in a shooting contest, but they're not beating me in an actual one-on-one -on -one game of basketball. Taking you off the dribble. Aaliyah Boston backing you down, bro. Aaliyah Boston backing you down. Taking you to the hole like Elijah one in the 1900s. How, big is, how tall is Leah Boston, um, Alex? Look that up. Well, Leah like 6'10". Six six no, Leah like 6'10", six 6'9". Six Come on, bro. 6'5"? 6'5"? 6'5". 6'5", backing you down. How's she going to back me down? I'm 6'3". No, you're not. I'm 6'2", but with sneakers on, I'm 6'3". <laughs> What do you mean? No, I am 6'2". We got to make this happen, yo. Who wanna, what WNBA I'm player telling you, is going to step up and take the challenge? I'm telling you, they won't do it because it's too bad for the brand. <laughs> like, you saw what I did to, you know, college basketball by defeating Jay Williams so easily, right? It's like nobody even watches. Jay Williams was in the NBA? Yeah, but he, you know, he he was more of a college Damn. basketball yeah, yeah, no, star. Yeah, no, you're right. I get what you're saying. It was more of a college thing. So, but he was the number one guy in college, and for me to so easily beat him with zero effort and basically team Jordans, I was wearing Carmelos. Like it's not like I even had my best sneaker on. Like I, I didn't even have my best sneaker on. I had some team Jordan Carmelos, and I bust his ass so easy. So what they don't want to do is feed me the women basketball players because you know it's gonna listen pop the bubble. We know it's WNBA players that watch brilliant idiots who want to take Schultz up on his challenge. Okay, they don't want to bust your ass. They don't want to do it. Don man. Staley will still bust your ass, yo. Honestly, I would do a two-on-one. We could have a little threesome. Dude, this guy is crazy. <laughs> Not like that. Don't be sexual about it, but we could have a... We should, we could have, <laughs> you can't beat any of them two-on-one, yo. I think we could go two-on-one. Nah. So you could be, you think you could be Caitlin Clark and Aaliyah Boston? Two-on-one. Two-on-one. Who starts with the ball? You can start with the ball. Oh, that's definite. I'm saying they should start with the ball. They'll never, then, they'll never give it up. <laughs> you should watch the game Friday, stupid. yo. For anybody who doesn't like women's basketball, watch yeah. South Carolina play Iowa on Friday in the Final Four. I bet you you'll be like, damn. Damn, bro. I like watching these women play basketball. You got to just work on your pitch. Yo, Caitlin had a triple-double the other night. She had, a, she had four, 42 points, 12 rebounds, 10 assists, something crazy. Whoa. Leah Boston got like... 30 double doubles on the year. I can't even joke around, bro. I'm being honest. You. You, you, you should watch this shit, man. 40 points, 12 rebounds, 13 cramps. <laughs> that's impressive, though. Come on, yo. Come on, yo. During your period? Come on, yo. No, that's Come on, crazy. yo. That's and impressive, And they got to do that. That's impressive, They got to do that. You know, and ain't one of them dripped on the court yet. That's another thing that you don't realize. <laughs> This is so crazy. And that's not sexist. We're talking about this as a compliment. No, it it, it, it isn't. Pro I, what, do what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, I'm so impressed that women can do anything while they're on their period. Go to work. That's what I'm saying. Like, do anything on they, your period they, they is the most impressive camp, thing ever. Yo, like, who's going to have the, the cramp game? Yo, the cramp the game. The way Jordan had the flu game. Yes. I'm serious, yo. What's what's up with the cramp game? Um, How many we you drop on your period? Yo, I'm not even joking. We don't give them enough credit because uh, if we knew, speak, speak, and, 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 preach. these aren't things that they have to make public. But if we knew that they were going through it, like what's the worst day, Taylor? Bro, we should track cycle. <laughs> Imagine you have got you got to go out there and you got to play in like the final four on your first and second Trench. day. Dread. You know what I'm saying? Like, you going through it, but you out there balling. Heavy like, they flow. should give these women more credit, yo. 100%. They should give these women more 100%. credit. 100%. I'm serious, man. Drenched. I'm serious, man. Right? Taking my doll in the middle of it. Now my doll timeouts. <laughs> Imagine taking a my doll timeout, right? Just you can pop a pill, get back in there. We don't realize what women go through. Like, women need You're more right. credit for what they're able to I do. I agree with Anybody you. Anybody can drop 40 points without bleeding out their Oh, God. <laughs> this, this guy. <laughs> Instead of saying, Gatorade, just have chocolate that. there on the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> all we want them to do is bust your ass. All of this talk, all of this talk stops 
when you get one on one with one of them. Okay. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing, though. You know how when you hear uh, men's <laughs> basketball and they'd be like, good D, good D, and you chuckle? It's the same thing when you hear women's basketball and be like, you can't overpenetrate. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is awful. Yeah, bro. Well, why, why, why are you just, why are you trying to like couch it with the men's basketball? Like, <laughs> you're like, I do this with both I'm genders. Equality. <laughs> equality. <laughs> Yo, okay, tell me about that Margaret shit. The the remember oh, that? Oh man. Let me tell you and something. And how it wasn't man. woke, even though it was woke. How they did yes. inclusion yes. perfectly. And are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. It comes out in theaters April 28th. It is the the the, the book, I mean the movie based on the classic book by Judy Bloom. You know I'm all about Judy Bloom, big bloom energy. You know, uh, y'all have heard me a million times say that's my dream interview. Um I, when it comes to storytelling, I look at Judy Bloom the same way I look at Ghostface. Wow. Same way I look at Scarface, same wow. way I look at Jay-Z, Nas, because it's just about storytelling. Same way I look at like the great stand-up comedians, the Carlins, the Rocks. It's all about storytelling. Yeah. That's literally all it's about. And she writes fantastic stories. But man, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. I don't want, I guess, I, would I be giving this away? See, I guess when you watch the movie and if you've read the book, you don't really technically know who what you know like what the main characters you know the main characters are white like and all you there god is me margaret her dad is jewish her mom is white so you know margaret is white right but you don't know what her friend circle really is you just assume they're all white in the movie one of her friends was a black girl mm. you know what i'm saying and her her teacher uh, if you've ever read the book when she went to um you know her teacher and you know told her teacher that she's trying to figure out where she falls as far as religion her teacher is a black man you know, but the beauty of the the movie is they don't broadcast that. It's just in it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it just makes sense. Like there's no like uh there's no comments about her teacher being black or no comments about like her 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 uh friend being black. There is like one little scene, but it's funny and it makes sense in the context, you know, of the movie or, or that right there, which they just showed in the trailer when they show all of them. They literally show all of them getting ready to go to uh dude's party and like you know the the black mom is doing the black young woman's hair with a curling iron you know what i mean but even with that that's just it's just a thing that's in the movie it's just man this movie was so well done they didn't make it about race they made it about this story they the made it about story. their relationship there they made it about go. a relationship between a young person and finding god and yes i mean and that's what the book is about of course yeah you know what i mean that's the best way to do inclusion oh, because I think the beauty of it is like if you want to tell a black story, then tell a black story. Yes. Don't pretend to be inclusive by like sprinkling on something black on a completely white story, a completely Asian story, That's and then right. just going, but look, we made something black. Because it's obvious that they're black. It's, exactly. <laughs> you you know don't need saying? to say it. So, yeah. the, so the little nuances they do show in the movie, whether it's her getting her hair done or, yeah. uh, you know, church scene, it's obvious that they're black without overdoing it. Exactly. You know what I mean? And even uh, Jordan Peele does a great job of that by like, he just makes a horror film and it happens to be that the characters are black in it. Well, not Get Out. Get I guess out. Get Out is wrapped around. Yeah, Get uh, Out was definitely wrapped what, around. What was the next one after that? Uh, us, us or us. something like that. Yeah, Us yeah. and then uh, Nope. I didn't see Nope. Yeah, Nope. And but, then, but also too, this movie is heavy Jewish. You yeah. know what I mean? But even yeah. the, the way they address anti-Semitism in the movie it doesn't stray away from the book at all. Mm. So it doesn't look like they're forcing this wokeness on you or forcing this inclusion on you. Yeah. It's just all part of a great story. If you've read yeah. All You There, God, it's me, Margaret. You already know the story. The parents don't like the the, the son-in-law because he's yes. Jewish. You know what I mean? And, and here, here's the thing. I'm not against telling a story about black struggle or, or Jewish struggle or any of the struggles. I think that's great. If that's what your story's about, go tell it. Yeah. What I, what I think that we all reject is when we have a story that has nothing to do with it, right? Like, it's a story about pancakes. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. then all of a sudden, you're just like, but the way black people eat pancakes <laughs> is a little different. You're like, what the, f what is going on right here? Why are you performing? Yeah, 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 yeah There's yeah, yeah. a, um, I just saw the- Or, or, or it'll be a, a whole monologue about Anja Mama on the bottle. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. And you're like, what, what are we talking about right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. so, uh, because it shows you don't really care. You're just doing it for like a pat on the back. That's all it is. It's so, pandering. Exactly. So I went to, um, 
I went to the Harry Potter musical. Mm -hmm. You know how Harry Potter has yeah, a yeah. musical on Broadway. Yeah. Or not musical, sorry, the Broadway, Broadway, play, Broadway, Broadway show. And uh well, it first, could be a musical. Music, yeah. No, nah, they don't sing on it. Oh, never yeah. mind. So uh to give it credit, the stage production on this thing is absolutely mind blowing. Like it is every little detail is amazing. The way they create multiple sets pretty much out of the same thing. Like I, I don't think there's anything in Broadway history that has been this good. And I say that with confidence. Uh, even though I've probably been to four Broadway plays. So <laughs> don't take that with a, a grain of salt. typical Schultz. Yeah, typical yeah, Schultz yeah. shit, okay? Um, the story is, I'll just very briefly, the story is about Harry Potter. It takes 20 years later. It's Harry Potter's second kid, okay, who's named Albus Severus Dumbledore, blah, 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 and then uh, Draco Malfoy's kid, who was like the bad guy in the uh, who's uh, whatever, Draco Jr. or whatever the fuck his name is. I don't even know his name. Scorpius is his name, okay? They're... Guys who have no friends, they're kind of nerds, they're mis they're outcasts, and they find each other. And what's really hard for them is high school and Hogwarts. And Hogwarts is the best thing ever for Harry Potter, mm -hmm. but it's the worst thing ever for his son and the worst thing ever for uh, Draco's son. And But they found each other, and they find this, and they forge this beautiful friendship, and then they go through trials and tribulations. And then the last scene, and they have this beautiful friendship. In the last scene, Draco and, and uh, Albus, who's Harry Potter's son, are talking and Draco has a crush on Hermione's daughter, right? And he basically goes, hey, I think she's she doesn't like me, but she pities me. And that's on the way to like, so we're making some moves. Mm -hmm. And one day I'll be with her in my castle. And then out of nowhere, Albus just goes, is that who you want to be with in your castle? Implying that, they, that he's likes him, that he has a he's crush on gay him. the whole time, and I'm like, you fucking fraud! Nobody, nobody was gay in Harry Potter, was he? Uh, Dumbledore was essentially gay. Oh, so but the point is, the point here is that, that I thought that it undercut the entire play. Instead of showcasing the beauty of friendship and loving someone else, and how being alone in the world can make you want to not exist in a world and how finding a friend, one friend, can open up the whole world to you and make you yeah. feel like you can achieve everything. It was like the most beautiful story just about friendship. If he likes him, okay, good. But just to throw it in at the end yeah. and now the whole time he was just trying to get dick. Especially with no music. They should have hit, I got the magic stick. Right, no. though? Magic once, wand? I could hit twice. <laughs> Yo, I got the magic wand. Yo, I, I'm just saying. Like, to me, I was like, it's a perfect example of, like, just trying to throw in some progressive yeah, nonsense yeah, yeah, and yeah, undercutting yeah. a beautiful story about like friendship. That. I don't like that. Yeah, it's just like. I don't like, like that. Just tell me a you, story. Or tell a gay story. Tell a story about a gay a kid who's finding his sexuality. That's great. Tell that story. Awesome. Let's do it. Don't throw it in at the end. But do it in a... Mm. See, the beauty of a book like Are You There, Goddess Me, Margaret, and the beauty of a lot of Judy Bloom books is she can address topics like, you know, uh, you know, Are You There, God, Margaret is a story about a young girl coming of age, mm -hmm. right? So you have your woman's empowerment and all of that stuff like that. Yep. But then you have a story of uh, religion because it's just a young girl trying to find God, right? And you can even address, you know, anti-Semitism because you have, you know, the parents who don't like the 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 the, the son-in-law because he's Jewish. But you're doing yeah, all of this so. under the guise of just a great story yeah. of this young woman trying to story. find herself. The power of story, man. The power of story. But you gotta, I think the problem, to your point, is people are forgetting the story. They're giving us all of these, like, all of this symbolism and yeah. all of this, uh, when they say wokeness, it's the, 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 the diversity and, yeah. like, which is cool, but... Can it make sense? Yo, dude. You know what I mean? Can it make sense under this, under the, uh, under our actual story? Yeah. Just give me a good story. You can give me a good you can story. Feed me anything with a good story, bro. In the Harry Potter video game, they just put out a video game, and you know Harry and uh, J.K. Rowling has had all this like trans stuff that she's mm -hmm. put out, et cetera. In the Harry Potter video game, randomly a bartender in this bar is trans, and they goes, "How do you know?" They go, "I'm surprised you recognize me. I don't look like how I used to look, or something like that." I've, I've changed genders or something like that, right? They, they literally say it. And I think that that's the video game company going, hey, we don't believe the things that she believes. It's like, well, they don't take the money. See, they don't make the money if you don't like about it, but you want the money. So you try to protect yourself. You're almost using a trans character as a shield so that you don't get criticized. But you don't really care. Do they understand things like Harry Potter is what brings everybody together? It's <laughs> like, magic. Like, like it's exactly. Like whether you black, whether you white, whether you trans, gay, whatever it is, you all have a love of Harry Potter. Like, I don't think nobody's 
tripping off not being represented in Harry fucking Potter? It's more it's more the criticism that the game could get because they're making a game based on this thing that a person who is allegedly transphobic uh, created. Man, ain't nobody tripping on The Harry Potter is a multi-billion dollar business. People still go to the oh. Harry Potter exhibits. They still buy the books. They go watch the yes. movies. They go on the rides at these amusement yes. parks. They don't care. Yes. Like, nobody's buying the Harry Potter video game saying, you know what I want? Mm -hmm. Some inclusion, some transgender inclusion. Like, nobody's doing that for that. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, man. Stop. It's Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Like, what are we doing? Harry Potter is phenomenal. Never seen it, bro. My 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 wife loves it. My what? oldest daughter loves it. They've been to the. They went to that same Broadway play that was six hours long. Oh my god, it's so long, bro. <laughs> it was it's six so hours long. long. They got Isn't a it like big two ass days intermission. Or some shit like that. Oh yeah, it's just bro, a it's long a big inter intermission. Yeah. It's so long. All to find out the. <laughs> and he's just been wanting to trick Harry, but he just been wanting to trick Jacob Malfoy into just pounding flesh the whole time. When you thought it was just this beautiful friendship, and they found another person that was oh kind of weird God. and odd, just like them. Yeah, 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 yeah. What kind of magic do you have? This guy, like, you really got magic. You can, you know, you should be able to make him love you. You got to do the Expelliarmus. You got to look at his dick and go, Expelliarmus. <laughs> I got the magic stick. I know why I can hit it no, no, I can hit it twice. Ex Expelliarmus. <laughs> Expelliarmus. Is, I don't know what that is. It, what it is, is it's a spell that makes you take someone else's wand and brings it to you. But Whoa. you just do that God and it's meat, damn. bro. You got to do it as You don't meat. just want the dick. <laughs> you want everything that comes with it. <laughs> um, can you imagine that? You're just like, don't give, don't give Charlotte magic, bro. Don't give yeah, I know. Can you imagine just making somebody's dick come off? Like, what you going to do with just a dick? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You, you want it back? You fucking want it back? Get out of here. <laughs> Get a few of those homeless dicks, but it's a good use. Yo, <laughs> Yo, trade it up. Homeless Hogwarts. That's right. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. What is a Hogwarts? Hogwarts is um, sexually transmitted disease. From pigs. From pigs. Got you. Got you. Yeah. That's the next pandemic to break. <laughs> yeah. From pigs. Um, I mean, it's wrong that you would refer to women like that. But can we? <laughs> <laughs> I would never. This guy is so crazy. Can we? Can we <laughs> what are we talking about? Can we, can we break down one of the most motivational I'm serious. This is one of the most motivational, <laughs> Here we go. inspirational Here we go. things I've ever heard. Like okay. this, this what I when I heard this, it reminded me of when I heard TLC No Scrubs, when I heard Outcast oh, Get Up, Get Out, and Get Nothing. Hold on, like hold it on. really made me want to do more with my life when I heard those songs. And this rant, <laughs> this right here. This right here should be motivation for a lot of people, yo. Can we listen to this, yo? Let's hear it. No, 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 no. You got the, you got the, you got to let that. I gotta hear the SMD. That sets it off. Just watch this. Suck my dick. Y'all niggas ain't gonna never make it out the hood, nigga. Y'all niggas gonna die broke, nigga. I wanna have dinner with y'all pussy A's and fisty hoes anyway. I will not have dinner with no broke ass bitch in New Jersey anyway. I will not have dinner with no crackhead ass looking hoes anyway. Y'all bitches to not be in the same room with me. Y'all bitches gonna die in the hood. Y'all gonna die broke. Y'all ain't gonna never touch a million dollars. Y'all ain't gonna never touch 30 million. Y'all ain't gonna never touch 100K in a day. You gonna die broke. You, you lived your whole life broke. You ain't shit. You ain't gonna never be shit, nigga. Suck my dick, nigga. Fuck you Let me tell you something, New Jersey. <laughs> Let me tell you something. First go, of all, go. New Jersey is a place that I call home. If that right there don't motivate everybody in New Jersey to get up, get out, and get something, <sighs> you got to prove Soldier Boy wrong. Okay, now, the age thing, nothing really we can, we can do about that. But everything else, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to prove Soldier Boy wrong. <laughs> okay? Soldier Boy said y'all ain't never getting out the hood. Ever. Y'all going to die broke. You gonna prove him right? I'm not in the hood. You're not even from Jersey. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> see, at you me. see what I'm saying? You, you see how? No, I'm not even looking at Taylor. But Taylor <laughs> feels so insecure about <laughs> Soldier Boy's rant. Yo. She was like, "Did he step on me?" Soldier Boy is a king, bro. Let, let me tell you something. 
That was amazing. That was. Yeah. Y'all, it's all about perspective. Ooh. Y'all can be mad at him. We need the ether beat behind it, bro. Whoa. The cons, oh, the cons. Don't ever put, first of all, I am so sick of y'all. Stop, stop right there. Stop right there. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, man. The suck my dick. I know. It's Are we sore soldiers not from New York? Yeah, he might be. That was like that. He might that, be. That's the suck my dick. That's a New York suck that my dick. That is a New York suck, suck my, my dick. dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. dick. <laughs> Wait, that yeah. is a New York suck my dick, Hit yo. that shit one more time. Suck my dick. Y'all ain't saying we'll never make it out the hood. Stop right there. Right there. <laughs> yo, you got true. me. Yeah. I got to listen to the rest of this oh, right now. Yes, when you say suck my dick, y'all niggas ain't going to never make it out the hood. Ooh. What? Because <laughs> usually rappers are bragging about being in the hood. Usually rappers about bragging are bragging about still being in the street. That's He's true. He's saying y'all ain't gonna never make it out the hood. Suck my now dick. Now I need to know why. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Suck my dick. Y'all niggas ain't gonna never make it out the hood, nigga. The, 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 the pause, the <laughs> licking of the lips. Oh yeah, yeah. He, like he, yeah, he yeah, yeah. knew where he was going. With I'm about this, to do a lot of talking. My lips are dry. I'm gonna crack these bitches. I need to lick these lips. I need to get some moisture on them. Cause I'm about to motivate y'all. Let's go. Play, play, just play, just play, play, just press play, play, play from here. Y'all niggas gonna die broke, nigga. Whoa! Stop right there for a second. Out. Biggie Smalls once said, "Being broke at 30 gives the N word the chills." I remember hearing that. In my early 20s, thinking like, I cannot be broke at 30. Because mm. Biggie's absolutely like, being broke at 30. Mm. Like, whoa. That's better than what Biggie said. Wow. <laughs> you niggas going to die broke. Okay, hit it. That's a lot. <laughs> I would not have dinner with no broke ass bitch in New Jersey anyway. <laughs> now stop right there. <laughs> now you know why he said this <laughs> because there was somebody going around asking, "Would you rather two hundred and fifty dollars in EBT or dinner with Soldier Boy?" Two hundred fifty dollars in food stamps or dinner with yes. Soldier Boy. So. Here, here's the, this. Is how I know Andrew's rich. He didn't even know EBT is food stamps. But listen. <laughs> I just said what it was. <laughs> EBT is food stamps. It's the same I thing. I know, but for the oh, people oh, yeah, that yeah, don't yeah. know EBT. You're right, you're right, you're right, yeah. you're right. Here's the thing that's so <laughs> impressive about this. Y'all don't know comedy. There's no way I'm choosing EBT or food stamps over dinner with Soldier Boy. This You'll be laughing like this. Oh, no. I definitely do dinner with Soldier Boy. You got to go 100%. do dinner with Soldier Boy. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You just said no? Are you what ready you for this? Oh, Are you ready Taylor for this? Give Taylor the mic. Smoke? Give Taylor the <laughs> mic. Hold on. Give Taylor the mic. Give Taylor the mic. You said, you, what'd you say, Taylor? Oh. What'd you say, Taylor? I would choose, and I don't have EBT, but I would choose EBT over Soulja Boy. All right, scroll back about three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> just go back about three seconds. I just need you to go back about three seconds so you can see what Soulja Boy feels about you not wanting having dinner with him. Just go back about three seconds. <laughs> He's talking about people in Jersey. No, 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 no. Just go back about three. There you go. Now press play. I would not have dinner with no broke-ass bitch in New Jersey That's right. Anyway. I would not have dinner with no crack-ass bitch in hoes anyway. Y'all bitches cannot be in the same room with me. Y'all bitches. Y'all want to keep going? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Why would I stop this? Y'all yeah. broke. Y'all ain't gonna never touch a million dollars. Y'all ain't gonna never touch 30 million. Y'all ain't gonna never touch a hundred K in a day. You gonna die broke. You you lived your whole life broke. You ain't shit. You ain't gonna never be shit, nigga. Suck my dick, nigga. <laughs> wow. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? Fuck wow. New Jersey, nigga. The whole Jersey don't suit you? Hey, nigga. I'm from Zone West, nigga. I'm from Cicero, nigga. Fuck y'all crackhead looking at hoes, nigga. Y'all bitches got A's, nigga. Y'all bitches broke, nigga. Y'all bitches ain't shit, nigga. Y'all peasants, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Y'all some shit I stepped on, nigga. Y'all beneath Jersey. Y'all ain't nothing. Hold on, hold on. This is my favorite part. Fuck, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Jersey. 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 Don't prove soldier right, okay? I don't care what you got to do as long as it's legal. Change your situation if you are indeed <laughs> in the situation. So we're talking about now. It's not even about the money. I don't look at this and say like you got to touch a million dollars or anything else. You just want to be some type of success. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> That's how I would take this. Yes. You wouldn't. I wouldn't. This would not offend me in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. I would be out here like I'm from Jersey and I'm gonna prove Soldier Boy fucking wrong. Yes. Simple as that. Yes. Especially if you don't do crack. You know what I'm saying? You know he's just exaggerating a lot of this stuff. You know what I mean? Yo, by the way, even if you got HIV and AIDS, you can still yeah. 
prosper. But you know what's funny? Is that you can live through anything if magic made it. He he literally acted he acted like dinner was on the table. <laughs> like he acted like he hired the guy to go out and ask. Right? He, he acted like it was his idea. Like, yo, go around and ask what people would rather have, and then if they choose dinner with me, I'll do dinner with Man, them. Man, that is a good ass point because he's not mad at the interviewer. Why are you mad at the people it's in the Jersey? People, but the interviewer had the question that Word was insulting. Up. So that's why. Is this Jersey? Yeah. I couldn't tell if it was just Bro, like you know, Miami. It's you know like Florida. Be great. You know it would be great? It'd be great if a dinner with Soldier Boy was part of like a raffle, like an elementary school raffle to raise yeah. money for the school. Yeah. And he was there and nobody donated money to the raffle. Hilarious. And then he just gets up on the podium in front of the entire elementary school <laughs> and it just starts going off on these little kids. Man, listen, y'all be playing with Soldier, <laughs> but the South Carolina Gamecock football team, that's who they wanted at their postseason dinner. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, That's I think it was the postseason dinner. It was the dinner after the season because they play so much Soldier Boy how much, how much, at Williams Bryce Stadium. How much would it cost? No, he was supposed to be there. He actually, he was supposed to be there, but then something happened. I don't, I don't know if he had a baby. Something happened. I, I forgot. Something happened. He was, he was actually scheduled to be there. His team came in and everything, and then something happened like at the last minute where he couldn't uh, show up. But the South Carolina football team wanted Soldier Boy at their dinner. I want to say it was the post As they should. Dinner. He's a great man. Bro, Soldier Boy is success a fucking for a fucking legend. decade at least, on, maybe man. longer than that. Come on, man. In an industry that's incredibly hard to maintain uh what is it? What is it? Whatever the Re relevancy. Relevancy. If, yeah. if, 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 this is the 50th year of hip hop. You cannot discuss 50 years of hip hop without discussing Soldier Boy. You're lying to yourself. Yeah. Soldier Boy was the first artist to have like a, a huge selling ringtone if, if, if I'm not mistaken and I think at the time labels didn't even know what ringtones really were so I think he they ended up letting him have 100% of his ringtone sales oh that's right that's right that's yeah. right that's right that's right like yo y'all yeah, yeah. can't fucking front on big soldiers soldiers showed a lot of y'all rappers how to utilize the internet y'all are soldiers sons y'all are soldiers boys okay he was doing drop shipping before any of y'all were doing drop shipping I don't even shipping. know what that is I think it's basically he figured out that there was an arbitrage where he could like you, he could basically sell things through like his website, oh, but gotcha, buy gotcha, them gotcha. from China. That's right. And then the Chinese companies would deliver them directly to the people. So That's he right. would just make the middle. But he like figured that out. This is a common thing that people do now, but he figured that out right. before most people. That's it's like right. really smart. Stop playing yeah, with soldier. nice. Stop playing with fucking soldier boy, okay? Yeah. All right? Suck my dick if you don't like yo, the big say, soldier. Yo, say it with your chest, Suck bro. my dick, yo. Yo, nah, you didn't say it with your I chest. I don't say right? it right. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Yeah. Believe it when I say it. Nah, nah. Say it. But say it one time. Ooh, that ain't no walking and peeing, bro. I'll be honest. The first <laughs> that ain't no walking and peeing. You holding your dick in front nah, of people, yo. Nah, but that yo. first suck my dick was not... It was. I would give it a 7 out of 10, I'll be honest Really? I mean, for if we're... Putting on New York standards, so let suck me hear, my let dick me hear it is again. much much stronger than that. Suck my dick. Who got the best suck my dick? Oh, uh, uh, Spider Cuz. Spider Cuz. Spider Cuz. Pull up Spider Cuz. Suck oh, my, my dick, God. Taylor. D -d 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 don't ask no say? questions. Wow. Just Google. Just Google Spider Cuz. You're not from here, yo. <laughs> Google Spider Cuz. Suck my dick. She's from yeah. Jersey. And I hope your mom really sees you. She's from Jersey. Jersey, bro. Jersey bro. You are from Jersey, man. I hope you. She's from Upper Dar uh, Lower Darby. Stop. What if? Let's see if your mom. <laughs> Google Spider Cut Suck My Dick and I want you to show your mom your searches tomorrow. <laughs> you saved yourself. I, that one. I was like, wow. I see, bro. I, what? It was too much suck my dicks in your mom's in, in like the same sentence. I didn't know where you were going with that. You don't know how to spell spider? S P I. Are you saying spider like D A? Oh, God. Wow, dude. I really don't know. It's probably spy though. Yeah, but let's make fun of her more. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Wow, wow. Damn, Taylor. Taylor. You're really not with the that's culture. Crazy. Like, you're regular. You're just really spider. You gotta stop claiming culture. Hampton, yo. Yeah, that's What's up facts. with Hampton? Between you and Envy? I don't fucking know, bro. Like, between you and him, Envy, bro. What's that? Hampton? Hampton University? University? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Historically yeah. black college or whatever? Yep. What is it called? Historically black. Historically black college and university. And university. S P Y O. Put spider cuz suck my dick. I did, but it's not coming up. You know what? It's all good. It's not meant to be right now. We're gonna find it and then yeah, we're we'll gonna get insert it. it. Yo, can we talk about one thing? I just want to say one thing, Charlemagne. That we were 
I actually, I don't know if you were on the same page as me on this. I believe you may have been. No, you. I think you were maybe giving pushback. What? I said I didn't want the smoke with Jonathan Majors. I said I could easily take Michael B. Jordan in a boxing mm -hmm. match, but my but Jonathan Majors, I didn't know. Jonathan Majors got in a little trouble this week. It could be an absolutely false, fabricated allegation. Mm -hmm. But he did, I think, have uh, the police came and they got involved. Yeah because, yeah, because it's mandatory in New York, which I think is a, a, a BS law. But it's a mandatory It's mandatory that you get arrested for a domestic violence call if police feel like it's probable cause. Now, the only reason I think it's a BS law, anytime you just leave probable cause up to police, that can get sketchy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I don't know what the probable cause was in this situation, but... Allegedly, Jonathan Majors, not even allegedly, according to the New York Daily News, Jonathan Majors called 911 because he was having issues with uh, somebody who was. Wait, Jonathan Majors called 911? That's what the New York Daily News said. New York Daily News said Jonathan Majors called 911, which, which also was very sketchy because the New York Daily News said Jonathan Majors called 911. Other outlets are just saying a 911 call was made, but then other outlets said the woman called. So I'm like, how are all of these major this publications suspicious. getting it wrong? Was the was she a cracker lady? I don't know. She was cracker? Everybody's saying that. I don't know. How do we know? How this? do you know for a fact she was cracker? I saw a picture. That, Can that, I see that, a picture that, of this that, cracker? That, that, you did not see a picture. You saw a picture that they were circulating online and they were saying this is his girlfriend, but we don't know if that is the woman. The mm. internet. This is why I hate the fucking internet. Can we get an This AI? is why I hate all of this shit. Can we do an AI search for uh that's actually really fun. What? Asking AI what somebody's girlfriend looks like. Hilarious. And then the internet decides if it's white or black or Asian or whatever. Hilarious. That's a funny game to play. Hilarious. That's how you can tell if people think you date white women or not. Yeah. This is what Dr. Umar should use ChatGPT for. <laughs> he, should, he should just do what does Michael B. Jordan's girlfriend look like. Oh. AI decides. <laughs> That is funny. I'll tell you this, though. This um, is fucked up. If this is all a lie, this is fucked up. Well, we, but here's the thing. We don't know if it's a lie. We don't know if it's truth. What I hate is jumping to conclusion bias. Mm. And that's all social media does. I don't understand people's rush to be judge, jury, and executioner mm. on situations like this. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we don't know anything. Like I, got, like I said on the air on Breakfast Club this week, the only thing you should feel about this situation is nothing. Until all the facts come out. Like, I saw people literally saying things like, Jonathan Majors is over. We don't even know what happened. Yeah. How can you just, wh why are you so quick to make a statement or just wish that somebody's career is over based off allegations and accusations? Yeah. Like, why? Like, just everybody take a beat. Let the facts of the case come out, and then we'll see what happens. Also, an important <clears throat> thing to note, when you're a famous person, you have to be uh, very scrutinizing in the women that you're willing to date, especially if you think they're a little crazy. And sometimes crazy girls are really fun. They say wild shit. They get you fucking horny because they're willing to do things nobody else is going to do. But that crazy has a cost. So once you get famous, if you even smell the slightest bit of crazy on a girl, you go the other direction. What if it's a woman that you've been knowing forever? And then, you know, you they, the they, they, they have an episode. You go the other direction. Well, I mean, if, if, if what they're saying is true, if what the New York Daily News is saying is true, he did the right thing, right? You call 911, you say somebody at your house is having an episode, and then the police come over, and then they arrest you, <laughs> right? Which is, which is usually what happens in situations, especially when a person is black. Yeah, I would, I, I would just be like, I'd move out. <laughs> I'd be like, this is your house. That's not going to stop the person from having an episode. Yeah, but at least they can have an episode alone. <gasps> Let them live there for two days, then call the police and be like, this yeah. woman won't get out of my fucking And by the way, house. I don't want to do that to that young lady either because I don't know what happened. I don't know if, you know, they said it was an episode and she had to go to the hospital. I don't know if she had to go to the hospital because of the episode or because she was injured. Like, we don't, my point is, we don't know. This poor guy. We don't know anything about any of this situation. You know what I mean? I just hate how the internet reacts. Yo, and this is why I tell y'all, Middle finger to all you motherfuckers. And the reason I say middle finger to all you motherfuckers, because the love isn't real and the hate isn't real either. Can they we, just loved him five days ago. Can yo. we do conspiracy uh, corner right Let's now? Let's do it. Is this Michael B. Jordan's team trying to slow down the rise of competition wow, in you, the acting world? This is, the, you, this is the second conspiracy theory you've done for a Jordan in two weeks. Last mm. week it was Michael Jordan and Pippen. 
This week's is Michael B. Jordan and Listen, Jonathan Majors. There's a reason why Michael Jordans are at the top of their games. Mm. <laughs> there's a reason why. And it's a relentless pursuit for greatness, right? Whether it's so basketball or acting, stupid, Michael B. Man. Jordans are at the top of their game and they have to squash the competition. Now, I'm not saying it's actually Michael B. Jordan doing this, but maybe his team could be so diabolical that they're like, listen, this Jonathan Majors guy is getting so much credit. He's getting so much notoriety. People think he's so brilliant. Is he going to start eating up roles that Michael B. could be going up for? We need to slow down that momentum, send over a crazy cracker lady to, to really just kind of throw a wrench in his whole plan. I've heard... Um, a lot of court. I've heard a lot of conspiracy theories surrounding this situation. I am a hundred percent sure that one ain't true. Yeah, but it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. It's yeah. fun. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. It's Gets fun. the people going. <laughs> I, I just you know even when people say things like it was over for Jonathan Majors. Stop right? it with that. Okay, well let me ask you a question. Why wasn't it over for Ezra Miller then? Ooh. How about this one? Let's stay in the Marvel universe. How Why come isn't it over for Ezra Miller? Because he like literally kidnapped a, a lady. Allegedly, I don't know if any of this stuff is true. Oh no, he didn't kidnap. She was like part of his cult or something like that. But he was. A I wild don't boy. know anything. I just remember reading this, the stories yeah. and the headlines. But you know, the well, it's because he's not a he. He's a they. You got to they it up. You got to they. If you're about to break the law, you're about to have like a mental episode. You have to they it up to create a little bit of protection. Also, he don't have black Twitter on his ass. Mm. And well, that's Charlemagne. what. That's what. That's what. That's what. That's what. That's really the issue. But even you if know, he did have like Twitter on his ass, when you're they, they we don't know what to, what jail to put you in, so they can't arrest you. <laughs> I don't even know if Ezra was was he committing crimes. Like I don't know what it was. I just yeah. remember him having all of these allegations. Yes, you know. I think he like shoplifted. Really? I think he did some other stuff. He maybe even had like a weapon. He was like losing it. No, I don't. I don't. I don't remember. I, okay, all right, this says charged with marijuana possession. That's twenty twenty. That's 2011. Choke, oh, choked a woman outside there of a bar. There you go. That's what it was. Ezra Miller appeared to choke a woman outside a bar. But when you're a they, you're also a her. In that moment, he's like, I identified with my woman's side, so it was just a fair fight. Like, me and this girl were going at it. What happened with this case, though? And then it was what? Ezra Miller delivers a cryptic message to the Ku Klux Klan? What the fuck did he say to the Ku Klux Klan? Look, if y'all want to die, I suggest just killing yourselves with your own guns, Okay. Otherwise, keep doing exactly what you're doing right now, and you know what I'm talking about. Then you know we'll do it for you if that's really what you want. I mean, Talk to you soon. Okay, and bye. You're not going to get in trouble for threatening. Yeah, nobody's, yeah I can't even can. believe keep that's the story. Ezra uh, is charged with disorderly, disorderly conduct, conduct and, harassment. and harassment. That was March 2022. So all, 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 already you have a choking, right? All right, Ezra Miller gets a restraining order filed against them. Mm -hmm. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> You know That's what? Funny. This is why I can't remember anything that happened with Ezra. I'm, I'm not even joking. Because I read an article about this shit one time and they kept referring to him as they and them. And I remember thinking to myself, well, how come he's the only person keep getting named? If it's if it's days and they, like I'm so confused. See yes. that this shit right here. This is why I can't remember nothing about Ezra. Yes. This is exactly Queen. why. Yes. Let's go. Queen. Ezra Miller is arrested on a second degree assault charge. Wow. What else? Mm. What did he who did he hit? Miller's legal continue was a Ezra, arrested. Who, who was it for? After being found, uh, became irate after being asked to leave and reportedly threw a chair, striking a 26 year old female. Female. Okay. Forehead. All right. So, so you, second time assaulting a woman. I don't know. I think it's the third out of this one we just read, right? Uh, He's accused of grooming. Accused Holy of grooming. Shit. This is June 22. It's yeah. Ezra Miller. Keep going. What else we got? What else we got? Another parent comes forward with allegations against Ezra Miller. How okay. is this guy still in the DC universe? Ezra Miller is accused of burglary because the flash is that good from what I'm told. Uh, Ezra Miller accused of burglary. Vermont State Police tried to serve an emergency care order to a mother staying at Ezra Miller's home. I don't know what that is about. Uh, Ezra Miller revealed they're seeking treatment for complex mental health issues. What else? What the <sighs> fuck, man? Go read that headline again. How is that not confusing? Ezra Miller reveals there. Seeking treatment for complex mental health issues. This is why I don't even understand what's going on with him. Ezra Miller pleads not guilty to burglary charge in Vermont. Ezra Miller pleads guilty to misdemeanor and begins one year probation. And when does the flash Son, come Son, you out? can get away with anything if you have vague, bro. I don't think it has anything to do with that. What do you think it has to do, Charlotte? I think it has to do with the fact when these companies have invested two hundred million dollars in into a movie, they want to get their money in, back. Yes. They're going to get their fucking money back. One hundred percent. Yeah. You know what no, I, mean? I think that has to do with that as well. That's exactly 100%. what this is about. Because, uh, but I, if you, do you think if a if a black man had a two hundred million dollar movie franchise, but he still had three allegations of assaulting a woman, that they wouldn't scrap the movie? I think they would. Do you think if a just white man had three allegations of? Uh, assaulting a woman, they wouldn't scrap the movie. 
I don't think they would. It's, I mean, it's clear. I mean, they have, and by the way, we don't know. This what's is not a white man. This is uh, <laughs> this is a, a non-binary. This is a white they. Okay, well, let's talk about a white man. Uh, yeah. Jeremy Renner. You don't even know who Jerry Renner is. Yeah, I do. Uh, Hawkeye. Bow and arrow. Hawkeye. Yeah. yeah. Pull up Jerry, Jeremy Renner. Word. Oh, we're not going to do this right now. Pull up Jeremy Renner. What'd he do? Nah, Pull we, it up. We're doing uh, the Chris Brown shit right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're not doing the Chris Brown thing because these are the things, if and when, and I'm not going to say when, if they do try to make a thing about Jonathan and you got, because by the way, I'm sure that there's a lot of people who don't want to see a black man be... Uh, this prominent in the Marvel universe, right? Mm -hmm. To have a whole, have all of these different movies and franchises built around him. Like, like if you believe the internet, these people that get mad at the Little Mermaid and shit like that, I'm sure that they're going to say some shit. So, but you got to be able to point to things like that. Everybody's going to Ezra, but go to Jeremy Renner. Mm. Just go, to, go, go, go pull up, pull up Jeremy Renner. Hawkeye. Pull up Jeremy Renner. Yo, can I ask you a question about the Black Little Mermaid or just the Little Mermaid in general? Yes, that's my cousin. Um, serious, more serious question. Go to what is Jeremy Renner accused of? Pull it, make it bigger, Alex Taylor. Renner's ex wife accused him of abuse. Oh my Jesus. Um, Christ. they had a daughter. Uh, I mean, they got some of the D. Oh, yeah, go to go to the timeline of Jeremy Renner's. This don't even feel right what we're doing right now. What? Just like putting people's allegations out there, like. But that's my point. They're all. But my. This is my point. So let's not continue. They're it. allegations and accusations. Clearly, these things have been proven not to be true because Jeremy Renner said they weren't true. Uh, I don't. I don't know if Ezra ever did. I, whatever. But they're still working. Is my point. If it, if, so if you if you if you if it's not true and it's proven not to be true, you should be able to still keep working. Oh, I hundred percent. It's innocent. So that's what I'm saying. People guilty. say things like it's over for Jonathan Majors. No, clearly. It won't be. I think you have to let the court of law decide. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. I'm not pulling up these people's allegations and accusations to accuse them of anything or to prove a point. I'm just saying that these things have happened before in these worlds. Mm -hmm. So if they try to make Jonathan Major's situation anything other than that, because we have things that we can look to, then we know it's got to be some type of racism. Okay. Can I ask you the Little Mermaid question? This is not yes. a Black Little Mermaid specific yes. question. There's just a Little Mermaid in general question. Yes. Um, as far as the story goes, the Little Mermaid starts as a Little Mermaid. Then mm -hmm. she gets legs, right? Does she have an excuse if her pussy smells like fish? <laughs> 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 All mermaids get legs. Though. But, this, come on, you, you, you've seen the classic splash. But I, I, I'm talking with Daryl Hannah and Tom Hanks. I'm specifically talking about fish smell. Like if her man was like, "Yo, it kind of smells like fish," because she'd be like, "Motherfucker, I was a fish. Like it's gonna take a well, little bit I, I to get go, it off. It's I would not go wash. I would go to splash. Right? <laughs> Tom Hanks clearly <laughs> loved the smell of fish. He loved it so much he wanted to live underwater, underwater yeah. with Daryl Hannah at Absolutely. the end of the movie. So, you know, like my daddy say, if it smelled like fish, eat all you wish. Now, if it smelled like wow. cologne, leave it alone. That's, my daddy was ahead of his time, that's bro. That's facts, bro. <laughs> that's facts right there. Listen, I'm an explorer, bro. <laughs> you, think, you think Columbus stopped when he got to the Dominican Republic? You know what I mean? He's like, we got to keep shooting. Oh, oh, man. All I'm simply saying is... Um, I hate the court of public opinion. Mm -hmm. I hate I hate uh, jumping to conclusion bias, which is a real thing. Y'all know that's a real thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Jumping to conclusion bias is a real thing. Google it. Do you want to explain to the good people what conclusion bias is? Yeah, I'll look it up. I don't want to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Let them know. look it up. Let them look yeah, it up. I don't know it off the top of my head. I'll do it. I mean, it's, it is the pod. You know what I'm saying? Jumping to conclusion bias. It is the pod, so we can do it on the pod. Jumping to conclusion bias. Jumping to conclusion bias, often abbreviated as JTC. Uh, is a psychological term referring to a communication obstacle where one judges or decides something without having all the facts mm. to reach unwarranted conclusions. Is that not social media in a fucking nutshell? Amen. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? That's social media in a fucking nutshell. So Amen. once again, Hallelujah. I'm not trying to throw, you know, Jeremy Renner under the bus or Ezra Miller under the bus or Jonathan Majors, none of them. I don't know. I just know that these are accusations, allegations, accusations come, allegations come. People figure things out, whether they're in a court of law or amongst themselves, and life keeps going. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So what you think on social media really does not matter. And I just really hate... The, the reason I really don't like it, because when you see the Army, you know, have a knee-jerk reaction and they pull ads, right? I don't think they do that without the social media reaction. Oh. I don't think they're so quick to jump to a conclusion, you know what I mean, and pull... 
this guy's ads if social media isn't saying stupid shit like it's over for Jonathan Majors. Yeah, mm. I think who pulled the ads? The army. Why is he doing it at? He's doing yeah, a he's campaign. Got, he's got two ads for the army. Yeah, so I think that people are just concerned about perception and being tied to perception. Army, y'all got y'all own problems. Was he ever in the army? I don't know. Because that's weird. The army has their own problems, don't you think? I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah with all with all the uh, domestic abuse allegations that oh, happen I'm in the not army even and saying the, that. the women that get killed in the army uh, and nobody under, no, but nobody finds out what happens to them. Like, come on, yeah. I'm well, yeah. I was talking more about like. <laughs> Senseless wars and oh, I mean that yeah, yeah. of course yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you know it's hundreds just, of thousands of people dying for no reason. I just I just I don't know. I really I really just don't like it. Like it just really <laughs> bothers me when I see people just jump to conclusions about folks with no facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then when there's situations like you know like a Dana White, like Dana didn't get no smoke really. I mean, granted he's the boss, mm. but he didn't really get no smoke. Wasn't, yeah. wasn't mm. nobody saying Dana White is over. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And there was a whole video. Yeah. And he apologized for. It. He yeah. he didn't even run from it. Yeah. You know, but it's just I hate that. Like it's like why do yeah. why do we do that to people? Why are we so quick to just you're saying tear that somebody we're like down? selectively choosing, or you're saying that we want to tear people down? Well, I don't think no, I don't think they're selectively choosing at all because once again. Black Twitter isn't on Jeremy Renner. They have mm. they not they not on Hawkeye. Mm. If Hawkeye is any if if any black celebrity has those same accusations Jeremy Renner got, he's getting smoked on Black Twitter by by his by his own people. You know what I'm saying? It'll be it'll be his own people jumping to conclusions. You know? If if uh, uh Ezra Miller Ezra Miller he, he got a lot of, you know, hits and stuff in the tabloids, but you know, it wasn't nobody saying stuff like, at least I didn't see it like Ezra Miller is over, or you know, mm. they weren't begging DC to part ways with Ezra Miller clearly, cause the flash is still coming out. You know what I mean? So it's just like, when I see black people doing that to other black people, it's disgusting. Mm. Especially when we know that we get accused of things falsely all the time. It's, I think it's, it's easier been going on to, since, since the beginning of time. Um, yeah, I think it's easier to just kind of attack people who are incredibly successful because oftentimes successful people make us insecure. Especially Jonathan Majors, right? Yeah. So think about it. Uh, the past month, w women have been lusting after him. Yeah. Now you get to be like, look at your little boyfriend. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? Little boyfriend caught up in some shit now. You know what I mean? So you, how much of it is, is you know, I, you, know, you you really care about the situation or you just don't like Jonathan Majors Oftentimes we moment. just react to how people make oh, us feel. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and it. also, uh, people are going to talk about the only people they care about. So yeah. like Black yeah. Twitter, they're only going to really talk about the actors they care about, which is Jonathan Majors over Ezra Miller. Yeah. Talking about it is one thing. Jumping to conclusions about it and saying things like, Jonathan Majors is over and he's got the look he, He's got the look of an abuser. Like, come the, come the fuck on, yo. Yeah, he's but weren't you look. saying that... Um, What's his face? Uh, the dude who shot Meg. You were saying he was innocent and shit. You remember that? No. That Tory Lanez? Yeah. You remember when he was saying Tory happened. was innocent? He was going on that all the uh, internet uh, no, detectives that and was stuff? You, that was you. Nah, I remember. I, so I remember that was, in the group chat. That was, chat. They, that was <laughs> Alex that? and Andrew Schultz. Like, Come on. They know. They know. They know why I stood <laughs> well, on that. Well, he was innocent until he was guilty. Mm -hmm. And that's how it should be. And 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 if you don't have anything to say, if you don't know either, if you don't know how, if you don't know whether he's innocent or or, or, or uh, guilty, then step don't out. say nothing. Yeah. Why why do we have to be in a rush to have an opinion on this shit? Because it's fun. Mm -hmm. I could I could have got on the podcast and said what I thought about the situation and been right, Tori and Meg. <laughs> but I like for what? Mm. Why? Yeah. What is what is that gonna do? Let things play out. Like yeah. Why? What, well, what did you say the other day, Cracker said? What what, what y'all think y'all gonna do now? <laughs> what y'all gonna do now? <laughs> what y'all think y'all gonna do now? 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 Chris's phone starts ringing. What y'all think y'all gonna do now? <laughs> Serious, like, who would you like to call? <laughs> what y'all so think y'all gonna do now? So you need to make that ring tone. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's pay some bills, man. Uh, salute to game time, all right? Game time, baby. All right? Buying tickets to your favorite events shouldn't be stressful. Game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater near you. With great deals on last-minute tickets and their best price guarantee, you can stop stressing over the tickets and start getting hyped for the fun you'll have, okay? Game time is the place for last-minute ticket deals, even killer deals on tickets right up to the day of the event. Get exclusive 
flash deals on tickets for football, basketball, baseball, concerts, comedy, theater, and more. The game time guarantee means you'll always get the best price. If you find tickets in the same section and row for less, game time will credit you 100 percent 110% of the difference. You heard right, 110%. It's the fastest growing ticket app in the country for a reason. Buy tickets in a matter of seconds. Two taps in your set. Tickets are sent directly to your phone so you never have to dig through your email. Snag the tickets without the stress with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code IDIOTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code IDIOTS for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Guys, we also uh, have to tell you that this podcast is brought to you by Blue Chew, the best boners in the business. You deserve it. Your girl deserves it. Your side piece deserves it. Your wife deserves it. The girl that you're about to sleep with the first time needs the best first impression ever. And Blue Chew is there to deliver it. Okay, same active ingredients as inside Viagra or Cialis, but this is the chewedest one that we rock with, the one you're rocking with. And you're going to get your first month free. All you got to do is go to bluechew.com. Make sure you use the promo code IDIOTS. Pay $5 shipping. The best dick of your life delivered right to your door. You are welcome. Now let's get back to the show. Yes, let's get back to the show. We got church announcements. Church announcements. Uh, yo, so I got a show. Um, uh, I'm starting to do some shows again. I got Calgary. That's going to be August 27th, the Great Outdoors Fest. And I'm also going to be performing at VCon. Okay, that's Gary V's thing at the uh, Lucas Oil Stadium. That's where the Colts play. So that's going to be that's going to be wild. So uh, so far, you can uh, go get tickets. For both of those, um, and uh, yeah, I think we're going to be adding some some other stuff soon. I'm I'm excited. I've been I've been back on stage. I've been grinding, and uh, yeah, it's been fun. It's been Word. fun. Yeah. Oh, I was just out in uh, uh, at uh, Rogan's new club. I saw that man. Yeah. Brilliant. The comedy mothership. The comedy mothership. It was it's beautiful. It's I amazing. haven't seen anything but the stage though. Is the whole place nice? Yeah, the whole place is great. I mean, just like the organization of the place is great for comedy because there's this like centralized green room and then you can access every all both of the rooms without going through any of the kind of public areas well, i mean i that's I, I would expect it to be amazing when you got a comedian designing the designed whole fucking it. thing yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah no it's incredible <clears throat> and just like the way that he's organizing the whole thing and how like comic forward it is like obviously you expect that from joe but it's different when somebody has been like you know promoting Com comedians and on his podcast and all his other platforms it's different when you start a comedy club because you go all right well this is a business and we got to make the business run yeah but his whole shit is like if it breaks even that's great so he's just putting all the money back in comics hands he's like he tells the staff that works there if they're com if they're comics they can check out to go do a spot wow like and then come check back in like wow. i mean he's paying up comics crazy he won't let me tell people how much but it's crazy Really? I mean, it's crazy. So, Like crazy than a regular comedy club night? Because y'all make fucking money. Well, it's different than when, uh, for like a spot pay. Oh, got you, got we you, got We make you, money you. when we're on the road, but like got when you. we go do a spot in the city or something like that. I mean, it, it's probably different for him too, though, because his clientele. Like, I mean, you got to think, Rogan has been, I mean, number one, he's a comedian, but then number two, think about all the cachet he's built in the comedy community oh, by sure. launching so many careers via for his sure. podcast, so everybody in their That's mom why everybody's pulling up, is going to go to his podcast. Of course, yeah. like, it's like the least we could do is go out there and, you know, spread the word about the club. Not like he needs it, but... I, I mean, it works. I mean, I, I guess because I follow so many comedians, I know the name of it comedy mm. mothership there we go you know and I mean? bro it's like impossible to get tickets for it the show's been sold out really? and it's just like it's just crazy to see a scene really get built out of i mean it's not like they didn't have a little bit of a scene but they didn't have it like this i mean it is this is a place where people can go and develop comedically now i like seeing com comedians do that dave chappelle's doing that he's building a comedy club he's, I mean, he's already got that whole the shack thing going on in yellow springs but yeah. I, he's actually building of a, a vicinity. He's, yeah, yeah, he's building yeah. a venue in a in uh where's where's it where's he at? Isn't it Yellow Springs? Is, it Yellow, is that the name? Is that the whole town, Yellow Springs? It's the town in Ohio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah. he lives. Yeah. I was yeah. just in Columbus. I went I was uh I was there this weekend for my daughter's Chile in tournament. I was in I went to Key West to go to the premiere of All You Day Goddess Me Margaret. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Columbus. That was Friday, and I went to Columbus on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Um because my daughter had a cheerleading competition. I didn't even know Duvall was going to be in town. Oh, and then you yeah, linked du with Duvall? Yeah, Duvall was there all weekend. Oh, wow. And that was good because I hadn't seen Duvall set in a long time. Yeah, how, how, and is he it's, talking it's, about... Oh, man, it's fantastic. He's, he's oh, it's fantastic. He's just... It's a, he's finally not working hard. Ah! He's finally 
not working hard. He's you know out what there mean? just he's, he got a flowing. reason to sit down because he's yeah. hurt. You know yeah. what I mean? And like the first however many minutes is just him talking about what he's just recently been through with yeah. the accident and stuff. Starts yeah. off with a great sketch of the whole situation. Like it's good, you know what I mean? And then yeah. from beginning to end, he don't lose him. Yeah, you he's know, great. and because it's, it's personal, it's funny. Yeah, and then he mixes in the music. Like, yeah, Duvall's a one man musical. Yes. He's, he's literally a one man yes, musical. Yes, he is. And That's, I don't think yeah. I, I can't think of any other comedian that can do that. No, like like, like with, with music you actually want to hear. Yeah, like you're going there because you know you're gonna hear "Living My Best Life" and you're gonna love it. And then he he does it. He, what did he do? I think he did dropping dick off. No, it wasn't dropping dick off. What's the other song Christmas he got about trees. fucking? It's something uh, about fucking. Oh, no, um, you gonna get this dick? I'm gonna tell no. She loves uh, us. Are, are we fucking in the night? That one? Are we fucking, are we fucking in night? Okay. Oh, that's the old tonight? one when he when he did that BT's Convict. You gonna get this dick? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this dick. But yeah. no, nah, it was good. I love it. I like, I like, I like, I don't know. I just like comedy, man. I'm a comedy fan. I liked watching Duval. I like watching Jay Ski. Jay Ski funny as shit. Yeah. I like watching Erica Duchess. I like watching Nod. I just like comedy. Yeah. I am a comedy connoisseur. And yeah. what I like about comedy clubs, people that go to comedy clubs like comedy. Yeah. They're there because they like comedy. Stand up. They know what they're there for. They yeah. know the two drink fucking minimum. Yeah. They know the food ain't that great. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but they're there to watch comedy. Yeah. That's what I like. So, uh, yeah, man. Everybody build a comedy club. You should do one, Schultz. Yeah, I just did. I just did. Uh... No, no, no. You should build a club. Oh, build a comedy club. Yeah, why not? No. <laughs> I was talking to Joe about that. I was like, I was like, yeah, that's a whole other, you know, like list of. Oh, yo, with Caroline's. Going away, it's gonna be a big ass hole in the ecosystem in New York. I mean, the comedy sellers building another club. They've just been killing it. New York comedy clubs been killing yeah. it. You know, they got the stands. There's there's plenty of clubs in the city that are that are doing great and Damn. thriving. You just said you know? fuck Caroline, huh? Actually, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. um, uh, Black Effect Podcast Festival. First ever Black Effect Podcast Festival happening April 22nd, Atlanta, Georgia, Pullman Yards, man. I really got to thank y'all because, you know, if y'all keep buying tickets the way y'all buying tickets, we're Ooh. definitely going to sell out. It, it should be, Ooh. I'm talking about really soon, you know what I mean? Um, next week or two, you know, so make sure you go get your tickets. It's hosted by myself and my good sister, Jess Hilarious. Uh, we got 85 South Show on that podcast stage. We got Horrible Decisions, Mandy and Wheezy. Um, Giselle Bryan and Robin Dixon will be there doing Reasonably Shady. Michelle Williams will be there doing Checking In. Uh, AJ and Tan Bam will be doing the We Talk Back podcast. Big Facts Podcast will be there with DJ Scream, Big Bank, Baby Jade. Um, I know I'm forgetting some people, but we got a business and podcasting panel. Alex Media is on that with Wheezy, yep, yep. along with the president of Black Effect, uh, Dolly Bishop. Tamika Mallory is on that panel. Um, there's a woman in podcasting panel, too. I forget who's all on that one. But come up, pull up, man. You know, we got food. Louis V's providing the soundtrack. We got a Black Effect Marketplace where it's going to be merchandise from your favorite podcast and some of your favorite local businesses in Atlanta. Um, so, yeah, it's a daytime event, April 22nd, Saturday. Go to Eventbrite, get your tickets. Go to blackeffect.com for more information, and I'll see you on April 22nd. And thank you again, man, to everybody who's been uh, getting tickets because, you know, this is the the, the second time that we're, we're, we're attempting the festival. You know, we attempted it. Um, last year in New York and you know I, you, you learn valuable lessons when you do things like that because you got to go with your gut you got to go with your instinct when your instinct tells you this isn't the place but you still try to force it mm. things don't go the way you, you you necessarily want them to go you know and so you know with, with, we, we knew it needed to be down south and you know doing it in Atlanta has been fantastic so like I said go get your tickets because if y'all keep buying tickets the way y'all buying tickets we'll definitely be sold out for the 22nd so uh thank you now let's get back to the show uh damn we didn't talk about uh Takashi 6 9 what happened they with jumped Takashi? on him in um the LA Fitness oh yeah that's right in Florida do you think he paid the guys no not at all <laughs> wait what not even a little bit you don't think it was a Jesse Smollett nah 
Not at all. So he was beat the fuck yeah, up. Not even a little oh, bit. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you see the video? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just saw him working out with his with his nah. bubble jacket on on the treadmill. No, nah, that wasn't a bubble jacket. That was one of those workout jackets that people wear when they be in like the saunas and shit. Like you never seen those like the, those weighted jackets? I mean, it looked like uh, a like it, a baby fat. I think jacket. it was just a bubble jacket. I don't think so. Yo, look at that. I don't know. When I saw that, and I was like, oh, this seems peculiar. Like you don't work out in a. By bubble the way, we jacket. never saw him in the sauna. That's that's the funny thing about the internet. Like. For all we know, he could have been leaving the gym and putting his jacket on to leave. He right. might have just got there. You know what I mean? He might not even have got out of his jacket. If, yeah. if it, I thought it was one of those weighted jackets that people, you know, work out in. I mean, you know, the, the thing about that video, man, I, I know people are going to laugh. You know, you've been waiting for 6 9 to get it. But the reality of the situation is you, you don't, you know, if you want to laugh, cool. I would tell you to learn from this hmm. because 6 9 has been doing on the internet the same thing a lot of y'all motherfuckers are doing on the internet right now. Mm. You're talking that shit. You know what I'm saying? You're talking slick. You're talking greasy. You're making fun of the dead. you telling people to suck your dick. You know, you're inviting people to the fade. You're telling people you're going to fuck them up when you see them. Mm. And, you know, some people are ready to test you against gangster when they see you out in the street. And what's scary about this, that wasn't no artist. <laughs> that was just that wasn't guys. nobody in the yeah. industry. That was just some random people in LA Fitness who decided they wanted to see if you bought that shit you be kicking. Yeah. So you know, for everybody out there, y'all think that you know you can pop shit, stay online, you know, not go to industry events, avoid all of that. You don't know who has it out for you when you make yourself the bad guy. Mm. Mm. You don't. Know? You know, and it ain't always the artist sending people to fuck you up. It could just be random people who are fans of those artists or random people who don't like what you represent. Could be just random people who, you know, for all we know, there might have been some Italians who don't like snitches. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's just like, you know, I didn't, I, you know, I didn't laugh. I just was like, it should be a learning lesson for a lot of individuals. Yeah. You can and will get touched. There's no escaping it. Okay, I've been punched in the back of my head. It's on camera. Go see it. Uh, can I get a drop? D this this shit y'all haven't seen. He's getting in fights across the street from the radio station at the pharmacy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not to mention the tons of rappers who ran down on me are just regular people who have heard something said about them on Breakfast Club, whether I said it or not. Mm. If I'm the if you're the face of something, mm. when they see you, they want to see what that's about. Yeah. So you know. You can laugh, but I just hope you're learning because this could be any of y'all mm. at any given moment. What What do you think will happen to those guys? Nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's illegal to do what they did. Do the police care enough to go after them and press charges? It doesn't matter if they care or not. They did an illegal act and it's on camera. Like, you can't... Somebody got to press charges. Somebody got to press do charges. They? Yeah, somebody got to press charges. If somebody kills somebody else, nobody presses charges. Well, police got to investigate. That's the thing. If there was an assault that happened, I mean, that's crazy if, if Takashi's going to snitch on trial, but not now. Like, once you start <laughs> snitching, it's just, let's keep it going. Police are investigating. I thought I read something where I saw police are looking for the suspects. Mm -hmm. I, thought I mean, because now Takashi got to make an example. Takashi got to go, if you beat me up for no reason, we will find you and I will make your life a living hell. Those people don't care. It's just an assault Everybody charge. Everybody cares. Nah. It's. I don't want to go to get my license renewed. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's just an inconvenience. If you if you if you jump somebody mm -hmm. in a public place like LA Fitness on camera, mm -hmm. you're fully aware of whatever consequences could come with that. So they want it. The guy looked at the camera and said, "Turn the camera on. I want to be famous now." Oh, y'all ain't hear that part of no, the video. No, no, I heard that, but I don't think guys that do something like that are really thinking about the consequences after the that. fact. Those, uh, every single uh, one of those dudes seemed as, like they knew exactly what they were doing. That's the other thing that y'all don't understand. Some motherfuckers are willing to take the charge. They will, They don't give a fuck. That's why I was like, yo, did he pay him? Like, it's just no. so peculiar. No. Y'all got a really... Uh, but someone else paid him? I don't think Y'all so. got a really nice life, guys. Some people will come get you. And be happy with coming oh, to get no. you. They fucked him up. Yeah. There's oh, yes. no question. I just want to know if it's worth fucking him up. Like, how yeah, long do you go them. do, like, if you gang assault, what is that called? Lynching? You're not going to get no time for that. There's no time? No, yeah, you get, get time probation, for some shit like that. You get a good lawyer, you're not going to get no time for that. If That's you no just... Time. Now, you, you, you'll spend gang time. Gang assault. 
Nah, nah this you don't get no time for that. You'll, you'll, you'll spend is, time. This is bad. Like, if you just, like, punch somebody, you probably won't get no time for Bruh. that. But this is, They're like... They're beating on him. You're not going to get no jail time for that. Can I just say one that? thing? Who is that fucking piece of shit? Who? Uh, Zimmerman. Yeah, he did get Zimmerman, mm-hmm. right? His whole defense was... What was it? Uh, Self, uh, stand your ground. Stand it was ground. a stand yeah, your ground yeah, yeah, thing, yeah. but it was specifically he felt like his life was threatened mm-hmm. because what was happening? He was being punched. He said he, said he was being attacked. Yeah, 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 yeah. But specifically, he thought his life was threatened because yeah. he was being punched on the concrete. If Takashi had a legal gun and he shot those guys right there, that's a stand your ground. Yeah. That's in Florida too. Yeah. Absolutely on camera. If he had a legal gun on him. And he pulled it out and shot those guys, especially from that position on his back. That, he's not going to. Mm-hmm. He, he, yeah. That's that's why stand the, your ground. That's why the DA, if they wanted to, they could probably charge for like um, attempted manslaughter. Nah. It would be man, manslaughter, not nah, murder. It'd be nah, manslaughter. Attempted, manslaughter. attempted manslaughter. Nah, like it'd be that, lynching. Or, nah, it'd be lynching. That, they, they have that in the South when you jump somebody. Uh, when you jump somebody, it's a lynching charge. Let me look it up. When you jump somebody. Bro, they are fucking him yeah. up, yo. Yes. Why would pay for that? I mean, that hurts. Let me see. Jumping. <laughs> they call it lynching down south. Lynching charge carries but yeah, not in that. Florida. I mean, listen, to be honest with you, it ain't that bad. How long? No, no, I'm saying it, what happened to him isn't that bad. What? Bro, Son. he's alive. He and, and he got he, he walked out. Yeah, that is I've true. I've seen people get fu- I've seen people get jumped and d- they ain't walking nowhere. Yeah. The like, one, the one I thought that really did it when dude stepped on his rib. That shit looked like Oof. it broke his yeah. fucking rib cage, man. That's what I'm saying. You talk about his fake. If he's fake, he need to be a wrestler. If he paid for that, I don't even know what to what to look up. I thought it was lynching, but you not. I mean, that's not going. You're going to pay. You're going to spend time, meaning that you'll get arrested. You're going to have to bail out. You're going to have to pay for a lawyer. You know what I'm saying? But you're not going to go to jail for that. You'll get probation or some shit. I mean. I, I have a hard time believing this is the first time these guys have ever been involved in criminal activity. So, like, yeah. what if you've done a few criminal things before? Now the judge is looking at that and going, all right, well, you guys are a menace to society or yeah. something like that. Re- like, repeat offender. Repeat offender. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just, like, it seems to me that this is a big risk these guys are taking in order to beat up a guy who may or may not have done anything directly to them. Bro, some people are, I'm Still telling for the you. Clout, though. It, I guess, yeah. yeah. I mean, but by the way, I don't, yeah, I, I, I don't know if it was for clout or they. they nah, it's clearly for the clout. Now, this is just me speculating. This is me telling y'all to. This is me doing what I told y'all not to do about people like Jonathan and Jen, Jeremy and all mm-hmm. of them guys, right? That's just but fun, though. This is. <laughs> what if these are some Italians? They're Latin kings. Apparently. They're Latin kings. Okay, so yeah. they don't like oh, snitches. Are they kings. Yeah. I didn't know they were Latin kings. How you knew that? I mean, that's what. The blogs. I'm listening oh to the blogs. God. I'm listening to but what. That's a good theory. Yeah. If they're Latin kids, if they're gangs, if they're any type of organized crime, okay. So people, now you going after they don't a like snitch. snitches. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay. That makes yeah. more sense. Yeah. That makes more sense. That's all that is. That's all that is. But I'm telling you, don't learn from this shit because there's a lot of y'all out there, boy. Y'all living very reckless, living very dangerous with uh, your mouths. Yeah. I'm also like, uh, yeah. I guess it's different. It's a different when you live by a, a, a criminal code. Because you have to uphold that code. Yeah. Like, I'm looking at this, and I'm not assuming that they were criminals, right? I'm assuming there were some dudes that were, like, upset at Takashi for snitching and upset that he was saying might all be. this shit. And they might be. Might just be stands with some artist that he's shitting on. I don't know. But if those were the homies, I'd be like, bro, like, you, you know, you got, maybe you got fucking kids, you got a girl. Like, is all is, is getting that off worth losing everything you got? for having no direct personal connection to the man. Maybe they do have direct personal connection, but if there isn't any, it's like, uh, like if it's your if that's your boy, that's your best friend, it's like, bro, we can't even watch football on Sundays, man. Like, if you locked up, we got a plan, we got a trip planned to Dominican Republic, like, you know, we got 18 prostitutes lined up, like, what are you gonna do? You gonna fuck this up for Once everybody? Once again, this is just something to learn from, because some motherfuckers will come get you. Some motherfuckers is not worried about the consequences of their actions at all. Mm-hmm. They're willing to take the charge. That's why you just got to be, you got to be willing to deal with the consequences of your actions. Yeah. That's why I don't like motherfuckers who play the victim after they go do some shit. If you're going to be talking that shit and threatening people, telling people to come see you, when they do, don't act surprised. Yeah. Motherfuckers is like, oh, they shouldn't it's have jumped It's not the right them. energy. It's you not the right energy. You can't, you can't determine whether they jump you or not. It's not the right energy. Shit is crazy. Now, um... Nashville school shooting? Yeah, like, okay, how do we stop school shootings? Okay, I don't know if you could ever stop them. How do we reduce them? 
You reduce them by putting metal detectors in the schools. Well, I have a few reasons, few, few, few scenarios. You put metal detectors in the schools and you got to have private armed security. You know, whether it's old, old, old police officers who are no longer on the force, who, who have security companies, hire them to guard your schools. I don't want to see it, Taylor. God damn, Taylor. But she it, shot her way our, in. Our, 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 um, our, our, our private armed security. It's a security. girl, bro. She shot her way in? I don't know. I saw a video of her, that, like, shooting the door. That don't happen if private armed security is there. They're taking advantage of vulnerable people. Mm. They're going there because they know that there's no guns. There's nobody shooting back. You can go in here and call this Yo, much mayhem as possible. that's a great point. It's like if you have if you have armed security, I'm not talking about every single teacher. I'm talking about armed security at every yes. entrance of the school. Yes. They're going to know that they're going into a war zone if they start popping. They should put a sign in the school that says, this school has armed security. Like the same way you 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 drive by uh, residences and you see oh they got an alarm system oh beware a dog let, let me you ask know? you let me ask you a question if instead of school shootings and I don't want this to happen I just want to put this out there if instead of school shootings the politicians that support no background checks on guns <laughs> if they we're getting shot at. I'm not even saying they're getting killed. They're getting shot at. And if every month another politician who's like no background checks gets shot at their home, their office, whatever, how long? And I'm not saying that the no background check, doing background checks fixes the problem. I'm just saying once it was on their doorstep, how soon before they start saying, well, maybe we should do some background checks. Maybe we should change some things. Because clearly, schools getting shot up isn't making us change anything, mm. right? But I'm curious if it was on their doorstep, if you saw the people who were like, we need no background checks at all. I'm sure it's if they were getting shot at. I don't even want to put out there in the world that they get, they're they getting killed. But they're getting shot I mean, at. But what you're saying is true because politicians have security. You know what I'm saying? Most elected officials have some private security, whether whether, whether they have security that's uh, given to them by the government. I'm just saying, if they, they had have to go private to, security. If they had to go to work every single day going, it might be the day yeah. that somebody walks in yeah. and starts shooting at yeah. me. I, the, the, yeah. Uh, what I tell people to do, man, is Google who are the senators who have benefited the most from uh, NRA money. And you'll see that the NRA has spent a lot of money on political but campaigns guns, of senators. You're a pro-gun dude. Very. I'm a, I'm a pro-gun dude. I'm pro-gun, but I'm also pro-gun safety legislation. Yes. I'm also pro-common sense gun yeah. legislation. I love you know the I mean? idea of background checks. I love the idea of licensing. I love the idea of going through That's right. different... I don't want to take away... One second. I don't want to take away... Our right to have guns. I think it's very important. A gun that you took have. this this person out. It, that is also another thing. A gun took thing. this person out. So if you have armed security at the school, either that person gets taken out before anybody gets killed, or they don't even think about coming in the school. And I'm gonna tell you something else. Yeah. I'm not opposed to teachers having guns either, buddy. I'm not opposed to that at all. If you, I are, just don't want a teacher to feel like I don't want a, a woman who wants to get into education or a man who wants to get into education also to feel like they have to be a trained assassin in order to teach. I a, agree, but what if know, that teacher? What, science, what if like, that teacher is already a gun owner? What if that teacher has guns at her well, house? Well, then she has the right uh, to potentially yeah, do that. What if yeah. that teacher has his? Or, if, if, what if his he or her has guns at the house? And carries guns in their car, but they just don't carry guns in the school because they, they, they're all, not allowed. That'd all be dependent on like the rules of the school. And the school might have a rule that like you have to be a licensed uh, law enforcement agent in order to carry in the school. We can yeah, work exactly. that out a hundred percent. But I do like this idea because uh, from talking to law enforcement people, they said that once you start shooting back at the kid, most of them kill themselves because they're cowards and yes, they. I had that's why you go attack an innocent school. Oh, so, kids, the elementary school yeah, kids. Yeah. So the the uh, the fact that there would be people in that school that were armed and ready to go, they wouldn't think about it. Well, they have in certain circumstances where you've had those like uh, security guards for the school run out of the school. I forget which place that was. Were they armed though? I think they were. I don't know if they were armed. Oh, maybe they weren't. Yeah, armed. I don't know if they were armed, man. Yeah. Listen, man, and the, and the reason most of these senators refuse to support common sense. Gun reform is because mm -hmm. the NRA is in their pocket. 
It's just that simple. Yeah. It's really just that simple. Yeah. It's just it's it's just sad, man. You know, and uh, they they keep saying that the person is transgender. This was confusing to me too, though, because they oh, kept saying that it was it's a, a trans girl. But they kept saying transgender woman. So that but, means it's a dude that's transitioned into. No, a, they said she was born a biological woman. Okay. So I I didn't understand why the news kept calling her a transgender woman. Because uh, she's a she's a woman who transitioned to up. a guy. Yeah, I want right? to know exactly. I also think um, the parents should be charged for the crimes of the kid if the kid steals their gun. Yeah. This person is 28, Alex. No, I know. I'm just saying for the times where it's a kid who takes the parent's gun and does something with it. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, because then the parents would have to... I'm not mad at that. You know, be more responsible. Everybody got to be more responsible. Yeah. I'm not mad at that. That's a great point. I'm not You're going to lock away your gun from your child. Yeah. If you have, if you run the risk, mm-hmm. you're not even gonna let your child know where the gun is. Yeah. You're just locking it away. You're not even gonna let your child know where the gun is in the house. You might not even let your child know you got a gun. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it'd be one of those things. God forbid, somebody breaks in your house. You're like, oh shit, mom got a pistol. Pop's got a pistol. I didn't know. Yeah, the, you know. Yeah, the tricky thing is obviously like there's a lot of families that you know they live on land and they have. They actually have to have a gun because fucking bears will pull up to their backyard. You know, they 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 go out hiking, they go out camping. They want to make sure they take a rifle in case they run right, into I'm a South fucking Carolina. moose. Like I grew up with rifles where yeah. people would drive around in pickup trucks with the rifles right in the back window. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, guns yeah, were right. Yeah. My dad used to leave, leave the three fifty seven on the dresser. I'm like, like, we got to do something. Like, like for real, we got to do something. I think yo, something. listen, we already know that we already know the government ain't gonna do shit. Yeah, right, clearly. Yeah. And, that, and this is the other thing that people got to admit. This is the American way. I hate when politicians get on TV and say shit like, this isn't who we are. Yes, it's exactly who the fuck are we then? <laughs> this is exactly who we've been, and we've been this way for mm. a long time. Mm. Instead of saying American is apple pie, they should say as American as mass shootings. You know, so mm. we know politicians aren't going to do anything because uh, we know the, the NRA is in uh, you know, a lot of these senators' pockets. Right? So my suggestion is... You might just have to let the teachers arm themselves, yo. At this point, if you're le- if you're able to carry a firearm and you're le- you're you're legally licensed to carry a firearm, you carry at home, you carry in your car. If you're a teacher and you want to bring it into the school, it de- depending on what state you're in, let them do it, man. What else are we gonna do? We gonna keep letting our people just be vulnerable? Teachers and students just vulnerable to these cowards that keep running up in these schools and killing people. I think it starts with armed security at the school. I would love that, but who's gonna pay for that? I would love for I would love for our taxpayer dollars to go to paying for private armed security at the school. All of these veterans that are out here, yeah. you know, looking for things to do. All of these former police officers, like I said earlier, who got these security firms, give them the contracts. They'd yeah. love to do it. They, when I say they would love to do it, they would love to do it. And you don't even need a lot, yeah. depending on the size of the school, depend, depending on you know the entrances to the school and how you get into school. You just need. One person guarding a door, armed. One person guarding the door, armed. Like, why is why is the airport got all the security? The school should have all the security, just mm. like the airport. Mm. No, let me take that back. Airports definitely need a lot of security. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I got a little carried away. You know, I got, a little, <laughs> <laughs> got a little carried away. Okay, the airport definitely needs security. Yeah. but these schools need security just like that. That's also true. You don't think you yo you don't think of tripping in the airport. Yeah. You walk in the airport, walk in New York on a random Tuesday and look at all them soldiers in there with their big ass fucking machine guns. And you tell me you're going to try something in the airport. Yeah, it's the safest place on the yeah. planet. Come on, like, man. Right? Like, I, don't, I don't even say certain words out loud. <laughs> airport. People, man. Like, I don't say gun or bomb. I don't no, say nothing. 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 <laughs> I remember one of the ladies at Hudson News said to me, Shalom, you just in here with no security. I'm like, I'm in the airport. Yeah. Could not be in a safer place. I said, I'm about to call somebody on you. <laughs> By the way, y'all got to stop doing this to me. When people see me, because like I was at my daughter's cheerleading competition, just because the security's, don't think security not there, right? Yeah. But this one dude was like, man, I, man, you just out here with no security, whatever. whatever. I know, I got security. Yeah. Like, I ain't one of them. I'm not a rapper out here. I ain't got no security. Yeah. I'm not, no. My security is here. You, you know just what I mean? don't see him. Yeah, you which is just, exactly you what I want. You just don't see him. Yeah. And when you say things to me like you don't have no security, guess what I'm texting? The security. Watch this person right here. Watch this. <laughs> see the person in the green hat? Green hat watch, watch this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> why are you coming up to me asking me why I don't got no security? Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's it's not a weird thing to ask. Yeah, that is weird. It's a weird thing to ask. That's, that's, ask. that's crazy to me. Yeah. Um, what else we got, Taylor? Let's do some asking idiots, man. What was the donkey of the day? 
Baby Daniel. He's a 65 year old man. Danielle, can someone tell us if the guy is trans or not? The kid who shot the school up. They say tra he's trans. On the front, like, <laughs> you trans see the front page of the Daily News today? Oh, no. What Transgender they do. killer. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it said, it said transgender killer and it had a picture of a little kid in a glass on a bus looking terrified. And it was the front page of the Daily News was transgender killer something. What did it say, Alex? Mm. I saw it today. I read it this morning. Mm. Oh, so she used to go to that school. I just, I, I was just confused because at first the news just kept saying a woman, and then when they said it was a transgender, I just assumed it was a guy who transitioned into a woman. But then they said no, she was born female. So then I was all the way confused. So wh what is she trans as? I don't know, but does it matter when somebody w walks into a school and kills kids? He's a kid killer. She's a kid killer, whatever. And don't be fucking mad at me for getting the pronouns wrong when a person kills kids. I just, I'm confused. I don't mm. know what the hell's going on. They killed a bunch of kids. That's what they did. Um, baby Daniel, yeah. he wants to uh, know what it feels like to be a baby girl. He identifies, he's a 65-year-old New York man who identifies as a baby girl. He broke into a daycare, stole a bunch of diapers, drank up all the formula because he wants to know what it feels like to be a baby girl named Danielle. <laughs> is it possible, Charlamagne? I didn't make any of this up. You know that, right? Y'all are laughing like I just I'm told not, you. I'm not. It, I'm taking him seriously. Is it possible that there are trans people who are born in the wrong body and they're experiencing excruciating pain for being emotionally one gender and then physically another gender? And also, there are mentally ill people mm -hmm. that are taking advantage of this trans thing Ooh. and kind of using it yeah. to gain like protection from yeah. their mental illness. Yes. Because this seems like mentally ill behavior. When I see people like I identify as a frog, that is mentally ill behavior. Until but they say ribbit. <laughs> and then and then I'm like, oh, you're right, you're And a then frog. when you see that yeah. they got that crazy vertical. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? They jumping oh, out the they gym. They might be a frog. That's what I'm saying. They might be a Come frog. Come on. Come on. And you see them eat some pussy real weird, they just be like <laughs> 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 That, you might be a frog the way you eat pussy like like a little mosquito sting <laughs> you know what there might be something to this <laughs> oh my god man so yeah I did you hear know, a story man. about that um i think it was a lady in jersey that she faked her birth birth certificate to go back to high school <laughs> why yeah. she was like i think 29 or 30 fake the birth certificate so she can do high school over again for what? <laughs> Want to live the glory days? I don't know. That's these women trying to act like, look how young I am. Like, that that's just like, a, I, I look so good for my age. I could sneak into high school. Like, <laughs> God. I, I, don't think that, I don't think there's anything to do with, like, identify as a 14-year-old. Trans teenager is wild. Yeah. Is that what that is? Would you be considered a trans? And is this person considered trans baby? Yeah. You know what I mean? Trans boo-boo? You know what, what I mean? What the like, fuck was that? My little trans boo boo. My little trans boo boo. Come here. Come here. Come here. Just, God. Come here. Come here. Let me burp you. And do yeah, you say yeah. he's 65 years old or do you say he's 780 months? You know what's so Yo. crazy about this? Story? <laughs> That's Listen, funny. You know what's really crazy about <laughs> That's this? Funny. Think about this. You're 65. Yeah. Give it about another decade or so you'll be in diapers you'll be in diapers <laughs> yeah, yeah, somebody's yeah. gonna be wiping your ass somebody's gonna be feeding <laughs> you're you you're about to be a trans baby you're yeah, gonna go yeah. back to being a baby like yeah. you'll be just give it a minute like yeah. you're rushing this buddy that's funny you're rushing this man yeah a baby girl named danielle <laughs> this mental why don't we girl. commit people like no seriously why don't we just commit why don't we commit people like that I think a lot of people are down or at with least give them, a, give them a test right like at least let's see well i think they that's the test like do you think you're a baby yeah. You're crazy. And that person right there could walk into Florida or any store in Florida and buy a gun right now. That person could go into Texas and buy a gun right now. There you now. go. You know what I'm saying? There you go. My God, it man. Is a weird, it, is a, it is a weird thing. And I'm telling you, I've sat down, I've talked to trans people, and I 100% believe that they 
they are a woman they believe inside what they believe. Yeah, yeah, a yeah, man's yeah. body. Like I, yeah. I believe it a thousand percent. Yeah, I, I, it, I I'm convinced a hundred percent. I think that this happens in life, and I think that there are anomalies that happen all the time in life. You see these different people. We we're talking about this on Flagrant. There are people that are born with fucking eleven fingers. There are people born with three arms. There's tons. You have seven billion people on the planet. Statistically, there's going to be some oddities for sure. So I'm not taking away the fact that there are trans people that are born in the wrong body. Yeah. What I'm saying is, I think that there are also mentally ill people that are taking advantage of what trans is. Trans people should actually speak out against cases like this Yes! Mm -hmm. Like, they should it speak out. It yes. completely discredits their whole argument. Yeah, you're right. You don't want to be yeah. looped into these fucking wackos. That's right. A 65-year-old that thinks he is a, a four-year-old baby. That's and right. And if you're trans, so that people don't take away from you, you got to be like, that's right. well, people can identify with whatever they want. No! Yeah. Be like, that's some goofy shit. No, we, we had a trans listener called Breakfast Club and say that this is some bullshit. Hmm. You know, this guy is full of shit. He's clearly mentally ill. It was a woman who called, I think, I don't know if she was a trans man or it was a trans woman. I'm not sure, but she she was trans and she called and said, like, this is a problem. And I said, well, isn't that what people could say about you too? Like, should we be kind of aware of this guy's feelings? Is it, Could there be potentially something mm. to this? Like, I'm just, you know, because we're in it. You don't want to just dismiss people's feelings, right? Mm. That's what they told us, mm. you know? So I just felt it kind of like, you know, is it a, a tad bit hypocritical for you just to dismiss this person like this? Yeah. You know? Listen, I'm with you. I'm dismissing the fuck out of him. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm dismissing, and I'm, I'm talking about this baby Daniel guy. I'm dismissing uh, the hell out of him. Yeah. Dismissed. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm dismissing the dismissed. hell out of him. Done. You know, because I, I agree with Schultz. I do feel like transgender people do believe what they believe, but I also feel like there's a lot of people taking advantage of being able to identify as whatever you want to identify yeah. You know? Because I, I think all of us, we're, we're, anybody that's human with a soul will agree you want people to be able just to live their life. Like, trans people should be able to live their life. They should have rights. They shouldn't be getting killed for who they are. Mm -hmm. We all know that. I just mm -hmm. think it's when people's intelligence starts to get insulted is when you get a lot of the pushback. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When it's the you're taking advantage, dude. Yeah, when it's the woman's sports advantage. thing, or even this this guy, baby. It's like, come on now. So because because the first thing you read when you read a story like this, you're like, see, this is what happens when you open Pandora's box. That's what everybody yeah. thinks when they read this. You open Pandora's yeah. box and you let people identify as what they want to identify as. You're gonna have 65 year old men saying that they're 780 months and they identify baby girls named Daniel. Mm. You know, so. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, let's, let's we'll do, figure it out. It will all organize no, itself. No, the fuck we won't. Yeah, none of this is gonna be figured out, Schultz. Well, a comet will hit Earth and we'll all be dead instantaneously. That's it. So <laughs> that's it. Bro, it's, that it, could also happen. None of this. When I say none of this will be figured out, I mean this with the utmost optimism about life. <laughs> I'm not being pessimistic in any way, shape, or form. I love life. I'm happy. I'm just telling you what it what it is. Right. None of this shit is gonna be figured out. We're not gonna fin figure out this identity shit. We're not gonna figure out the gun so shit. Just gets We're not gonna figure weirder. out mental health initiatives. Life is just gonna continue to get weirder and weirder, mm. stranger and stranger. And when the aliens pop up, Ooh. when the aliens finally decide, all organized. Ooh. That might be that might be what we need. You see that as a, you know, the way to uh, unify society in a lot of these fantasy. It would never novels. happen. But that would unify humans at least. No, it wouldn't. If aliens came and attacked all of Earth, we would be forced to come together to try to thwart the aliens' attack. No. Yeah, you everyone. think we're going to be beefing with each other? Yeah. What's the what, What's the most together you've ever seen Americans in your life? 9-12. I was going to say New York was together. New York City. 9-12, all of America was like, yo, it's go time. It's go time. Maybe. I just think people are so strong in their convictions. Like, if you a real racist, that is nothing making you ride with a black person or a Jewish person. You but know what I'm saying? But you ain't riding with a black person or a Jewish person. You ride with other Americans for America. I don't believe that we could ever see it like that. What's the closest? I guess what I'm saying. I think I mean, that was the I mean, closest. I was the thing that came, that came to my so mind. So imagine aliens do that to all of Earth. Is That's where it's go time. That's where we call up China. We call up Russia. We even call up North Korea. And we're like, yo, let's get it popping. I don't think they're fucking with us. But they not fucking with aliens. We don't know that. <laughs> I'm not doing this with we you. We don't know I'm that. not doing this with we you. We don't. I don't know got that. the energy today. If aliens come down and they look just like Asians. Oh my god. Oh my 
Okay. I'm you going know what I'm you. saying? I'm going with you on this. We don't okay. know. We don't so know. So we're going to call him first and be like, yo, what's up with your fans? What you going to do with all that? What did I say? What y'all going to do there? What y'all going to do there? What y'all going to do there? You got to say it in a honky tonk accent. Hey, what y'all going to do there? What y'all going to do there? What y'all going to do now? Hi there, China. Hi there. Hey there, China. What y'all gonna do now? What y'all gonna do now, China? Y'all seen uh, y'all seen your cousins came by. What y'all gonna do now? <laughs> hey, huh? Is y'all is y'all planning this together? Is this some sort of family reunion or something? What, what y'all gonna do now? By the now? way, you're laughing, but what if the aliens come out and they are black? What if they are white? What if they look like no, us? No, no. What if the aliens come down, cock the weapons, point it at all of our heads, and then just say, What y'all going to do? What And then we just be like, I knew it. We knew this shit for the longest. Get your people. But if the, it's true, though, what if they come out and they look just like us? How we know it's that, where, by the in way, this where, where aliens to somebody? Yeah. But we, in this hypothetical, we're saying it's aliens. Yes. We are But what if they come aliens. out and they look just like us? They're just able to live in different conditions and they got higher intelligence. Then what? Now motherfuckers is confused as Ooh. shit. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. You got these racists like, I hate aliens for two reasons. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy, though? <laughs> they might not be racist because but, they don't have... The societal constructs that we have. No, where's it? Our racists. Are oh no, I'm be, with you. Our racists see, see a black alien. You're like, Ugh. so the al oh, yo, this will be a good plot of a movie. Yeah. The aliens come down, right? Yeah, yeah. And the rednecks, they see the white aliens. Come, oh yeah, buddy, it's over for you, motherfuckers. <laughs> now you know what I'm saying. Then they go and they're talking the to the black aliens. Come out. Yeah, then the black aliens come like, oh to our music, shit, it's on the now. The black aliens come. If Young Metro don't. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it really was spaceships on bankhead. But listen, <laughs> the, the crazy part is they don't even know what the fuck we talking about. Yeah. They're like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Yeah. Then they start wiping us all out. Ooh. Then what? Mm. The black aliens, the white aliens, the Chinese looking aliens, they all just wiping out all of us. Cause they came to get rid of earthlings. So then what do we do? We gotta start we looking. We don't know what the fuck no, to do. No, you're just making the argument. We have to start looking at ourselves like earthlings. That might bring us together. Mm -hmm. Now that. Oh my God, no. this motherfucker, bro. I was, this motherfucker, No, it was nuance. No, 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 no. Son. Shost just said aliens. Yeah. Nuance to it. If the aliens come down and they look hey, just like us, I try my best every week. You know what I mean? I do no. my darnest. I do my hardest. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Listen, don't judge him. It's the smartest man I've no. ever worked with. No, he's man. a true Y'all know genius. what I'm talking about. He is a true genius. No, no. This man is an absolute true it's genius. It's nuanced to what I say. He's also capable of doing some of the most <laughs> retarded shit I ever seen in my entire life. Now, once it was his idea that the aliens attacking us would make us all be together he was like now nah, we're talking that makes sense because i thought of it that's how you know it's a good idea when you thought of the same exact thing and pitched it to me there was no way that could have been a good idea oh, i just needed to think of it no if it's just if it's just aliens and we don't know what they look like it oh, might not God. work but if they look just like us it'll be confusing enough to bring us all together. Right. Because we don't know who's who. But then how would we even know to be together because we wouldn't trust any of us? What if you're a super racist? Yeah. And now, being that aliens look black and they look Asian. And they look? Now you got a reason to kill. You're a racist. You got a reason just to kill everybody. Oh, wow. Now you're I thought he was an alien. You're a white supremacist. You could, I didn't know. Oh. You know what I'm so saying? That first week is going to be fun. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, it's alien bashing time, right? I thought y'all were aliens over here on the stoop selling weed. You know what I mean? And you don't want Trump to say kill all the aliens. Oh, Woo! Oh. Woo! People gonna post up at the border and it's all them popping. Yeah, oh Can God. you go on a mic though? Why don't yes, you go Taylor. on a mic? Okay. God break damn, Shelly, about to break that fucking chair. Okay, so how... Would we tell though if one's an alien, one's not? If they're black, Asian, and everything else? Like I don't know. That's the point. Come on, think. We keep riding into it. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> like, what would we? How would we be able to tell it's not a real black person? It's a black alien. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're right. Because by the time they get here, they would soak up so much of our culture, culture and everything that they would be able to manipulate us. You but know what I they mean? would only get the culture we give them. We would have to have like nuanced black. Like we'd have to like watch an alien shower, and if they don't use the washcloth to wash their ass. That's not real alien. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, a yeah, fake yeah, yeah. black person. That's a, That's a fucking alien. No. And if they're white, how would we know? They don't have a washcloth at all. <laughs> they don't have a washcloth at all, bro. No, it should be, yeah. That's yeah, what, what he's said. saying. He said, he how said, would we know if the white alien's actually white? They wouldn't have a washcloth. Mm. Yeah. Remember that movie? Remember that TV show, Aliens, where they used to like, it was like water or something they'd pour on them? Not the, not no, the movie no, Signs. No, 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 signs. there wasn't Signs. There was a oh. movie, there was a TV show that used to come on Fox back in the day. I used to watch it all the time called Aliens. And it was something that, it was something they were allergic to. Y'all don't remember that TV show it used to come on Fox? And they had the weird heads, like their heads were like pussies. Cone heads? Nah, it wasn't cone heads. I don't remember this. I'm not that old, bro. Y'all remember Aliens? Nah, bro. You, you don't remember Aliens, Chris? Nah, bro. Get the fuck out nah, of here. You, Hold you, on, you man. Old. You washed, bro. Hold on, man. Yo, you washed. Aliens, bro. Fox TV. Yo, you washed Let's out see, here, bro. bro. Alien Nation, that's what it was called. Oh. Y'all don't remember Alien Nation? Nah, nah, bro. Oh, that shit was great on Fox. It started off as a film and then it became a TV show. Yeah, in Los Angeles, humans live alongside extraterrestrial humanoids. All right. Oh, wow. Let's do some Asking Idiots, Taylor. <laughs> Uh, uh, the underscore corner says, finally saw Creed, MBJ, and Majors would kill Alex and Schultz with their left ass cheek. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Um, that's not even a question. That was just a fucking statement. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was just a statement. I could beat a left ass cheek. Come on, man. You ain't beating I'm no not, I'm not going to lie. I mean, objectively speaking, like I saw there was a clip of him like hitting the pads and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it's not bad, but there's no, he has no chance. You, yeah, Alex, you would run from a left ass cheek before you ran from the actual person. If Probably. a guy walked in here right now, pulled his pants down, oh, and yeah. just came at you ass first, oh, yeah. Yeah. you are going to run. Done. And Second you know, Amendment. <laughs> Second what? Amendment. What? Second Amendment. <laughs> what? The right to eat ass. What? No. <laughs> Carry is it? Two A. Oh, two A is yeah. right to yeah. yeah. You can't shoot him. Why not? not? Cuz he's got his back to you. In New York City you can't do that. So he's coming at you ass first. You can't shoot him oh, in the back. Shit. Can you legally run over and fuck it? <laughs> is that, what? Amendment is that? I mean, is that <laughs> If they're running the ass towards you, it's not consent. That's an attack. It's an eh. That's an attack. You probably would have to ask. Can you be attacked by a good time? <laughs> Could you say, Your Honor, he was attacking me with a good time. So I, take, I just saw I cheeks. take advantage of that. I don't know what to do, Your Honor. Yeah, we're gonna have to mark this one. Yeah. This Why? Yeah. Why? He's crazy. attacking us. Yeah. He's running us with his ass open. I don't know. That's a good question. What does that mean? Hey, if I feel like my life's in danger, my life's in danger. It so you fucked him? That ain't gonna fly in courthouse. Why not? <laughs> I feel like my life was in danger, it's Judge, done. so I fucked so him. So I fucked him, yeah. bro. It happens in jail all the time. Yeah. Whispering in his ear. You got whisper in his ear. What y'all gonna do now? <laughs> what y'all gonna, gonna do now? Gonna do now? <laughs> Imagine the ass cheeks coming at you. What if the what? aliens are ass cheeks? What if the aliens are just two ass cheeks coming off the airplane at the, at the mothership? What y'all gonna do now? Yes. <laughs> What y'all gonna do now? You know. Sounded like rednecks, but they you red cheeks. You know? Come <laughs> on, bro. Um, Sean X Solo Imagine says. Imagine they landed in Atlanta, bro. Whoa. Come on, dude. What y'all gonna do now? This is what it sounded like. What y'all gonna <laughs> 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 Oh, Go to Atlanta, boy. Threaten, threaten them with a good time yeah. if you want to. What y'all gonna do? <laughs> 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 I can't even get their whole thread out. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <hell? laughs> I love it here. <laughs> uh, Sean X Solo said. <laughs> Sean X Solo said, "We learn from our mistakes, yet mm. we're always so afraid to make one." Ooh, where is this true for you? Learn to our mistakes. Always. Oh, uh, where is it true for me? Just life. Life. Period. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like you know. It, it, Here's the thing, you can't be afraid to make mistakes because if you're actually trying, if you're actually uh, attempting to do things in life, you're going to make mistakes. Like mm. the only time you won't make mistakes is if you ain't doing shit. 
If you're not taking no risk, if you're not taking no chances, if you're not even trying to be successful, if you're not even trying to be, you know, an entrepreneur, if you listen to what Soldier Boy told those people in Jersey and you just like, fuck it, he's right you're not gonna make no mistakes. But mm. if you're actually trying to prove Soldier Boy wrong, and you know, you're out there doing things, you're gonna make mistakes. So, mm. you know, it's, it's true in just life. Yeah. In general. Yeah. I don't try to hit PRs in the gym anymore. Interesting, why? PRs? And, yeah, like personal, personal record. records. Like. Oh yeah, I don't do that shit no more. Yeah. But why is that? It's not worth it. Like if you push yourself too much, then you throw, you throw some out. Yeah. Yeah. It's just Man, not worth it. Man, Alex, you so I fucking that, right. I used to do that shit all the time, I, back I, in the day. I, I, I was talking about that shit yesterday. Yeah. I literally talked about that shit with my cousin Tony yesterday because I was looking at that video of uh, Deion Sanders and he had the guys, I think they were benching like 245 and like a lot of the guys couldn't do it and then Deion just got up under it and did it like five, six times. And I was like, yo, I used to go to the gym and bench press 225 for no fucking reason. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like why? Why was I doing 80 pound dumbbell? Why? Yep. Like, you could throw up 225 easy? Easy, right now. Are you, a, you're like a strong dude. I, I think so. I mean, I, I that's know. a lot of weight for mm. your weight. You probably only weigh like what one one right now. I'm like one eighty. Right now, I'm like one eighty, one eighty one. Yeah, I'm like why? I'm just saying that's good. That's like a really good amount of weight. <laughs> am, put am, the, I, put am the I microphone in her face. No, no, I, I, I want to know what's, what Taylor getting. What <laughs> the uh, fuck yeah. you mean? <laughs> what you mean? What? Taylor, I said I'm one eighty. Speak your like, truth. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak your truth, Taylor. Taylor, what, what? speak your truth right now. I'm just surprised. That's all. What's the surprise? What? Lower or higher? I thought it was going to be higher. What? This is cut. No, 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 no. Stop. Because I'm this... thicker than her and no, it's in all no, the right no. places. <laughs> I need to go it's there. It's in all the right places. That's all it is. Yeah, you're not that far, though. Like, from a... From a you? Break... No. Um... No, I'm not 180. You're 180 saying, pounds? No, I'm damn, not Taylor's 180. 180. That's why you fucked that chair up 10 I minutes am, ago. Damn, I am. Taylor, stop. One, Taylor, stop. Taylor, I am 140 now. Taylor walking the gym to treadmill say, what you going to do now? <laughs> <laughs> what you going to do now? I hate y'all. I hate y'all. <laughs> I just feel like men are supposed to be more, have more weight than girls, that's all. Not 180. Let's do one more, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Give us one uh, more, Taylor. Just coming up on the digital monitor, like we're supposed to say the miles per hour shit. Instead, just says, what you scrolling. Do now? What y'all gonna, gonna do now? now? Oh my god. Uh, ooh, this is a good one. We can end on this. Right, Always go. Zant says, What part of success would you give away if you had to? Easy call. Give away. Easy call. If I had to. Go. Uh, fame. Mm -mm. You know? Like, that's, 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 yeah. You can have that. But I guess, you, I mean, you can't have one without the other, I guess. You know what I mean? Not in entertainment in front Not of the camera. Not in entertainment in front yeah. of the camera, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? That's, that's about part it. part of success. Because people are weird, bro. People are weird. Yeah. What part of says could we give, could we give away? Definitely not. And I'm definitely not giving the money away. The money is the best. And part. the fame, the fame. I'm like, I don't, I don't care necessarily about fame, but I do acknowledge that there are like amazing benefits to it. You know, like people wanting to work with you, wanting to help you. And yeah, I, it's and good. It's good until it's not. There are definitely issues that it can, can come with it, but there's also so much benefit. Like people are so nice when they meet you and maybe that's not necessarily just fame. It's like they appreciate your art or they appreciate yeah. your creativity. That's what you always hope it is. Not just like a, a like a cloud thing. The part that I would give away, that's a really fucking good question. I'm, and and I, I guess for me, it's like, you know, when it comes to the, the fame or the attention of it all, you got weirdos. You got weirdos who start looking up your family. You got weirdos so who that's, that's look what for I your would, addresses and stupid shit like that. That's you know what, what I, mean? I would do is I would... I would give away or give up, I guess, or I wouldn't want um, the people that don't care about the fame, how it kind of potentially affects them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, any negative effects on my family, you know, that is always, yeah. uh, that would be the thing that I, because we can take the cost of being, having some fame or success. We're willing to pay that price. You, you can't just get all the praise and the fucking accolades and everybody just fucking loves you. There's going to be the people that resent you or, or hate you or criticize you or just don't like you. And that is the cost of it. I'm fine with that. You have to be willing to pay <clears throat> that cost 
when you get to a certain level. And if you're not willing to pay that cost, you're not built for that level of Absolutely. success. I'm fine with that. It's just yes. the weirdo shit. It's the, yes. like I said, looking up your family. and Yes, that, you know, is, that is unfair. I'm, I, I've, I've, had, I've had some dumb shit happen. Can you speak on it or? Eh, I don't really want to. Okay. But I've had, I'll tell you after the show, I've, I've had some stupid yeah. shit happen. And you just want just, your family to be safe. That's that's it. Yeah. And, and and even you, because nowadays people get clout from doing shit to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you yeah. know, like I don't want to be, I hate when you're just sitting somewhere and somebody just runs up on you with their phone. Yeah. And, and and you don't know what they're doing that for. I'm a person who's been attacked. So I've, yeah. it, it can, it, my mind goes from attack I've had I've had attack to, yo man, Safari so shit was really that whack, like stupid shit like that. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But you're on edge because you've had the worst of it. I've so had you're the worst thinking of it. about that that's when right. you enter the interaction. That's right. I think that's very reasonable. I, I, we're we're gonna have people walking up to us yeah. with their camera saying, "Shoot." What you gonna do now? <laughs> Show me what you but gonna I'm gonna do laugh. now. I, I, listen, I've been. I'm so, gonna laugh. I mean, that's yeah. funny. I gotta be honest, man. I've been so lucky and like grateful that the interactions that I've had with people who enjoy the content that we make have been like really yes. pleasant and appreciative Not, and they've been grateful of them and like I'll be lying if so I said otherwise. Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Might probably higher. Ninety eight percent of them are. Yeah. From 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 Breakfast Club, the yeah. Brilliant Day, whatever it is, ninety eight percent of all interactions are great. So it's lucky. just that two percent, you know, it's yeah. just it's a high two percent because the because stakes of what could have been happen. so high for you in those situations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, but that is a great that is a great question. Is a great question, and I think it does force you to kind of look at the price of this. And I think the price is definitely worth it. It's worth it, but you got to be willing to pay for it, man. It's worth it. And it's worth you it. get so much from it. And you're not, and you're not going through nothing nobody else has to go through. If you, if you get to a certain level where you, you know, you got to have security with you, eh, that's the price of it. You know that's what I mean? The, that's, that's the price of it. Small yeah. price to pay. You know, it's just those other inconveniences to people that yeah. aren't us. We're yeah, and you yeah. know, but we're so lucky, bro. So blessed. We are so fucking so lucky. blessed. Um, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.